What's the last time I saw on this podcast? No idea. Yeah, I haven't gotten my second bag in a minute. I feel like people need it, you know? Do they? <laughs> Do they? they uh, Do they ask for that? Yes. They ask for it routinely. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It must be nice. Nobody ever I asked can't me. breathe when you're touching me. Really on this Jay Holiday shit. I can't. Yo, Jay Holiday, listen. If we will not, we will not, like. Maybe I was too young. I really don't remember that album like that. Go back. It's at least the, just the three main bangers Ben, Bad. Suffocate, and Fatal. Nah, Suffocate. Bro. I don't really know Fatal like that. I suffocate when you. Wait, what's, what's Fatal? Fatal is, um. I miss you. Every day you're gone. It's killing me to be without without you. Mm, that's a cut right there, cause I don't, I don't. <laughs> oh, that's I, I don't know. That's a that's that's a B sider. Yeah. Oh no. It's, if it's a no, B side, no, no, no. you know how deep in the cut a no. B side Jay Holiday song gotta be like. <laughs> no, it was a single. I think it just wasn't uh, didn't perform. Well. It didn't do. Yeah, it didn't do better than it the did, other two. Because lo- because suffocate was low key better than bed. Oh no! Yeah, yeah like no, no, no. Like no, that no. easily could have been the first one. Oh yeah, but he was like, nah, I got this other joint in the tuck. But that yo, that bed. I remember, remember MTV jams, mm-hmm. and that was the video. The that was the video of the week for right. Yeah. And I just remember like. Singing that shit routine. I was waiting for the hour. Mm-hmm. So I guess shit would come back on. Yeah. Like you do. Oh, oh, oh. I love it. Damn, I love it. Yeah, that shit was, how old were we? Let me see what year that was. Oh, we had to be middle school. Yeah, no, 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 we were in high school. We were underclassmen. I think we were like We were in high school, school when that came out? Get the no, we down. weren't. It was Is 2007. It? We were in high school in 2007? No, we weren't. We oh, freshman, freshman. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You know how? Yeah, we were. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm June saying. 2007. So we were going to high school. We were going to high school. Like, we were fresh <laughs> out of middle school. Yeah, fresh out of middle school. I'm that came to out. Put you to bed. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Like, what? All right. So we're here now. I want to I wanna ask. And this just popped in my head. Like, what are some of the, like, most, I like, memorable songs from, let's say, middle school? So. Hmm. Seventh for well for us, middle school in our district was seventh and eighth grade. I say when I got the sound ship, I went to middle school in in sixth grade. Yeah, some people sixth, seventh, eighth. Yeah, some people seventh, eighth. Some people seventh, eighth, and ninth. Yeah, ninth grade was still still middle school, but yeah. you know. Actually, now that I'm thinking about middle school, I have a lot of memories from middle school. <laughs> I have a decent amount, especially because yeah. I was the new kid in middle school. So you were the new. I just got you me. were the new kid, and in for whatever school. reason, we've talked about this before. Niggas thought I've been here forever. Like that was yeah, not, you you blend in. Yeah, blend in really blend well. Chameleon. Yes. Yeah. I was like, I think uh, <laughs> middle school though, definitely low by Flow Rider. Um, the fuck. When apple bottom jeans came on, mm. that's still a banger though. The fucking, you know, what's another one? What fucking chicken noodle soup? Chicken noodle soup. Uh, yeah. Uh, Aunt Jackie. Aunt Jackie. I got the feeling when I'm chilling with my aunt Jackie. Oh, it came at the same time. Yes, yeah, so that was around the same time. Yes. Uh, what else was I about to say? Uh, jumping out the window. No, Ron, Ron Browns had yeah, a Ron video. Browns, <laughs> yeah. Between that, he, he, had, he, had, he, had tri- he had a trifecta. It was jumping out the window, um, a pop champagne, and then a rap money, which was a very racist. It's going down, Young Jock. Oh wow, it's a good oh, school school going down. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's when Chris, Chris Brown just was like Chris Brown just, just out. came out. Yeah. No, that nigga had never right. Charlene just dropped. Charlene? Shoulderling. Oh, Shoulderling. I thought you said Charlene, Charlene by Anthony Hamilton. We were too oh. young for that soul for yeah, shit. Yeah, we weren't ready. That shit that. hits me in the, in the feels yeah. right now, though. My balls tingle. Oh, man. <laughs> that shit is a great song. That shit make my balls hot yeah. now. You know what? <laughs> Come, song I really liked? But. When You're Mad by Neo. Ooh. Neo? Yo, Neo had Neo, a good run. He did. Neo had an amazing yeah, he had a good run. An amazing run. And then he run. put them big ass pants on and it was downhill from there. Y'all ever seen a gif of him with the big pants when he was in the video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them big ass pants. <laughs> when he shot a hump the Yeah, shit. yeah. When he had, 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 had a size like power bottom. He had a size 44 waist. <laughs> size 47, but you know. <laughs> like, nigga, what are you yeah, doing, big, my nigga? Big ass stretchy pants. Yeah, trying to lay the pipes down. Yeah. Nah, middle school was fun, though. Nah, middle school. Yo, that shit. There's a lot of good songs. You know what else was good? 
not hip hop, uh, fucking Evanescence, Wake Me Up. I gotta get a wake up inside. I think that might have been middle school. Save me. I think that was middle school. Let's see. Because now I want to know. That was a good one. Uh, yeah. Gym Class Heroes. Yes. Motherfucking Lime in the Coconut. Listen, man, I can go on. Yeah, the fucking. The, 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 the. But Chris Brown's run was, during that time was. Whew. Yeah, that's when he dropped. Uh, it says here in 2007, he dropped the, uh, the drum with T Pain. Freeze? Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. He dropped that in 07? Yeah, kiss, kiss. I mean, before. <sighs> then he had. Oh, never- no, no, Evanescence. That, wake, wake Me Up Aside came out when we were in third grade. Then he had. <laughs> then he had Never a Right Time to Say Goodbye. Yeah, he had a he had a damn kiss kiss though. And then we had uh, I don't want to. I know we talk with him a lot. Who? All right. I'm a flirt remix. Ooh. Oh, oh man. Wait, hold T-Pain. on. T Pain. T Pain. When I pull up to the club, all the shorties be like, "Dance to me." What's going on? When I. But the crazy. When I. <laughs> the craziest part about that song is y'all know whose song that was originally, right? Who? It was Bow Wow. You lying. I'm dead ass. Bow Wow, R. Kelly wrote that song for Bow Wow and it was on his also, album. R. Kelly did the remix and took Bow Wow off and it was him and T-Pain. Also, I was talking about this with my girl re- like t- earlier today. We are talking about Bow Wow. Bow Wow had a nice, him and Omarion no. had a oh, nice yeah. thing Bow going, Bow. man. He just, he just courting now, but yeah. he... Oh, uh, the face-off time? That was good. Like, yeah, man. Face off, yeah. Ooh, Let me hold you. Yeah. Yeah. Down like you're with friends. Boom. Yeah, they had a good run. Trying to show me. They had a good run. Out of my system. Oh, it's man. Like mine. Out of my system. I still listen to Out of my system. That's yeah. a good one. I got all this love inside of me. Yeah, that was still All twice. I wanted to do was give, give it to her. her. <laughs> 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 nah, that was a good one. That was nah, well, I got my sister is... T-Pain, 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 yeah, oh, man, Listen, let me tell you how I, my first girlfriend, <laughs> fucking, I told the story before, uh, what happened, that was like, because that album came out around 06, that time, 06. yeah, so it was around that time, Seventh grade. and I forget what, no, the, the ringtone I had was Shorty Like Mine. But when we broke oh, up, good when we story. broke up, oh, same album, nigga. <laughs> same album. Out of my system. It was yeah, like, what the fuck? Me. It was like the album was made for me. Yo. When, it was crazy. Yo, the fucking corniest shit. Pregnant. The corniest shit. Uh, I gotta say, like, the corniest shit I remember doing to this date, right? Yeah. My favorite song at the time was, you know, Mirror by Neo. <laughs> Why? Because yeah, first of all, number one, what a bitch. Why? Because I mean, I'm not saying Mary's not a good song. It's but a good that, song. I didn't but lead, let me lead into the story. Okay. <laughs> so fucking bad. Uh, so I was all right. So this is all right. I believe my cousin. Shout out! Shout out to you, Kyle. My cousin Brian, aka Ryan. Right. Shout out to you. Wait, Brian, he, aka Ryan. Brian, his, his real name is Kai, but we his middle name is Brian. I call him Brian. Why do all y'all niggas go by middle names? I don't know, man. What the fuck is good with B Rock? Shout out to B Rock. Uh, shout out to you. He was there when I smoked my first blunt. He's been at a lot of milestones in my life. <laughs> shout out to B Rock. Um, he, I think, I think it was a joke. Mm-hmm. Now I think it's a joke. He he said, "Yo, I got this girl." And she, you know, she almost she want to talk to you. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Not realizing this girl is from fucking Newark. Oh Jesus! And she's half a great, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I'm great. Me, half a great. impressionable, horny ass hey, middle school Mike is like, Burlington ooh, brain. she want to hook, she want to link up with the bull. Oh um, <laughs> half a great. <laughs> she want to link up with the bull with over the, the phone and get hot and heavy. Oh. So I grabbed my fucking uh, my fucking blue sprint flip phone, <laughs> and then we, I start talking. So and then I I know it, it came. I didn't know at the time, but it, apparently the girl was very uh, very uh, promiscuous. Oh, she was a thought. She was a thought. How old are we? <laughs> oh, you kissed the thotty. Didn't kiss her. <laughs> when I was, I want to say middle school. I want to say oh, no. oh, hell, oh, sixth, oh, seventh, hell seventh, no. seventh, seventh grade, okay. seventh grade. And I, but she's a thotty up at her block in North, but down here on the phone, fresh. I'm cheating her like she's yeah. the wife. Oh man, 
I think I said I loved you. <laughs> to the chick. That's how bad it was. Over the phone. Yeah. And then I only was talking to the phone. I met her. I ended up meeting her in person later on. Mm-hmm. But I was like, oh. Oh. So. A little rough. She, she like the, the Jaden Kiss John from Twitter? Nah, she had the fat ass. Yeah, you with the dewey on. <laughs> she had the butt. I'm trying to talk to you like, because you like motherfucking Chris Brown. Is that what you said? Yes. yes. That's but what she was a light-skinned version of that. <laughs> yes. Yes, yo, that's that's what she was dealing. With. That's what I was dealing. With. Like motherfucking Chris Brown, because I don't have a lot of girl interaction. Mm-hmm. Being a chubby boy with an afro and braces and glasses, <laughs> I was taking what I could get. <laughs> Beggars couldn't be choosers back then. You understand? Mini Fat Albert had to get what he could get. <laughs> Mini Fat Albert. So she's like, I somehow mentioned because I could sing because that's my only trick in the bag at this point. <laughs> That's the only thing I got going you, for you, boy. You sang to this girl? I sang to this girl. <laughs> oh, my God. I sang Mirror on the phone to this girl every night. Every night? She's like, sing Michael, song. sing to me. And I'd be like, and I'd like, get into it. I'd be oh, like, <laughs> oh, my God. I just know your parents or your sister had a good day. What the fuck? I'm going to do that shit. I forgot how it begins. It's like, how does that shit begin? I'm about to say, you know you can't play it on here. You copy nah, it. Nah, nah. You can't try it. Niggas have yanked this I'll shit. I'll be in that here. shit like, baby, I love <laughs> making love in front of the mirror. <laughs> and I do the runs like, in front of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that shit. <laughs> no. I was so fucking hurt, oh, bro. Oh my god! And, and, uh, and, and you say that every night, every <laughs> fucking night, like it was a fucking lullaby. <laughs> she had you in the palm of her hand, bro. Now she's pregnant. <laughs> Shout out to her. I Shout guess. Her. Is this the first one? She married. Maybe her third. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, you used to follow her. Yeah, I see y'all. I, I, I got her on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, she's from North. She's on Facebook. Yeah. She's never, yeah. You know, her middle name was like living my life to mm-hmm. like it's going. Yeah, in. she's like the CEO of Ballers <laughs> Inc. <laughs> <laughs> CEO at 4X. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Graduate. Waka is Gra- trading. Guaca Flocka trades Forex, people. <laughs> It's the real thing. <laughs> if it wasn't real, would Waka Flocka do it? Floyd Money Wayweather also wastes his money on this. Yeah. So you should. <laughs> Word. Word. Dead ass. Facts. Already rich Mayweather. Yeah. From, and we know where he got his money from. <laughs> and we're supposed to just sit here and believe. He, like he built his wealth. Yeah, he didn't just... Come up off Forex. Like he just didn't win a fifty million dollar fight two yeah. years ago. This nigga can put up a million dollars like it's nothing. Yo, my favorite line is if you're not paying your mom's bills, oh. why aren't you trading? If I see that one one more time, I really want to ask one of them, do you trade your mom? Do you yeah. do you do you pay your mom's bills? You know what I saw? I saw somebody give like their aunt one hundred dollars and they were like, This is this is from trading. Yeah. I'm like a hundred dollars? Yeah. Okay. I, got a, I have a hundred dollars in my pocket right now. I don't trade anything. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like, nah, but like, how long did it take you to get that out of yeah, like, uh, Weeks. Uh, like, yeah, because it's not like a I know girls that'll blow a nigga. <laughs> it's not like a salary. Like, what the fuck? Like, I see. <laughs> You I see. Go easily, go blow two dudes yeah, you, you and see, get that money. You could sell eight pictures and get three hundred. Yeah. Like, I seen one dude go to the ATM and he was like saying like how it was his, his trade money. And like, it was, no lie, it was like a hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you can barely get two copies of Madden. What the fuck is wrong with you? You can't. What? Taxes? Nigga, hold on, look. This is, this is nigga leaving the bank like this. Leaving the bank. <laughs> what, what you gonna do for this forty ball? <laughs> what you gonna do for the forty ball? Nigga had five dollars in his hand like this. <laughs> Why aren't you trading? I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't know, man. It's, it looks like a cult, to be honest. Like, it's fucking stupid as well. You're saying they go to these seminars and shit. Something is wrong with you. I really do have a hundred dollars. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, just, I don't know. But uh, we say all that to say this. Welcome to the Not This Serious Podcast, everybody. Welcome to the most ballingest podcast. Yes, we have $122. I'm going to keep the money on the table to set the ambiance. <laughs> just leave it. 
nigga did. Just leave it there. Just leave it there. This is my 4X money. <laughs> With our 4X dollars. Yeah, yeah 4X. Paying mother's bills. Yeah, this is me paying my mom's bills, man. That would be great to do one day. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not against it. If you can pay your parents, if you can pay your parents' bills off 4X, more power. God, God bless. bless. God, God bless, God bless you. you. But it don't, don't try to guilt trip me into doing it because I'm not paying their bills yet and I just want to give you money like <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know isn't that gonna set me back from paying my mom's bills I'm giving you bread you yeah. think what well, do you think if I gotta give you $250 to get into this shit that should've been on sale for 9 weeks <laughs> <laughs> that should've been on sale since the day I first saw it but um yeah good guys it's not that serious podcast we're here for another week and another episode mm-hmm. uh no guests today just nah. the just just the gang. The boo crew. Just the yeah, the, the skeleton crew. You know, yeah. you know what I'm we saying? Here. We here. Uh just like the skeleton crew, we be boning. Uh <laughs> not each other. Because that'd be weird. But our respective mates. Um how's the, how's the single lecture in here? I mean, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. Yeah, I've been chilling. Every, like every time, like I look at you and I know mm-hmm. you're out there enjoying your life. Yeah. And I'm like, like okay. when y'all saw me at that random ass silent party. Yeah, I was like, yeah, like on a Sunday. Nah, <laughs> like, what? Like, what? <laughs> so like, what, are, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, but you know that's that's Elsie. Yeah. You know, like, he's living. And then it's like I look at these other like single stories. Mm. I'm like, oof, it's rough out here. It looks really, it looks really bleak out here. If you're listen, not, man. if you're not having fun, yeah, it looks miserable. I just did. I, listen, man. Yeah, if you're not, if you're not having fun, if you just stay in the house and just go to work and then go home, you're gonna be bored. But you know, make the most out of it, right? Right. But uh, you can't settle up. Like I'd rather no. Oh yeah, I'd that's do that. Than yeah. Settle. Oh yeah, that's why I'm oh, out no, here. Like because I think business. people who serial date are weird as hell to me. If you, I feel like if you can't function without being in a relationship, you have like there's something wrong. Like yeah. they're just people who have to be in a relationship. That's, weird to me. that's yeah, that's not normal to me. Like you're just or, forcing relationships just to be with somebody. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's not like that's not no no that's not. Cool. I agree. You're just wasting agree. both your time, wasting definitely. everybody's time. Like Every, and I mean everybody's time. Yeah, it's just it's not it's not worth it. It's it's just not cool. Like stop, don't be out here forcing shit that ain't. Ugh, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but just don't you know, <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop. Like, but not like just from being single. Like, I just see how weird people are. Like, this one girl, she unfollowed me on Instagram because I didn't text her back after she didn't text me back. What? She's she didn't text me back last, and I just I don't know. Y'all know, I'll be busy. Like, I'm not pressed over nobody, so I like just. Hadn't texted her back because I was like working and shit. I don't even care. Like it's whatever. Like I ain't hear from you. If you ain't text me, then what the fuck I gotta hit you up for it? Like this ain't it ain't nothing serious. And then I had to like check my Instagram one day, and she unfollowed me. I'm like, I'm like what? Like I don't know. I, I had, I had a, a mental. Illness. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like that's like I they're, nigga. Listen, I don't know. What is similar situation? Press. You said what? A similar situation? Yeah. Uh, but who follows me now? But she unfollowed me. What she do that for? Uh, I don't know. She, I bet she's a. How many points does Zion have right now? I don't know. Probably nine. Yeah. But uh, I six. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. I think it is fun, you know, because I think like especially when you're in a lo- when you're in a relationship for a long time. Mm-hmm. I think after a while, you know, you don't know what you like. You just know what y'all like. So dating gives you the opportunity to see what you're really into mm-hmm. and what you're not into at all, you know? Yeah, that's true. I'm pretty sure Zion just hit a three. He has 13. Oh, he has 13. Yeah. Oh, he just hit a fucking three. First oh, he has 18. 18? Oh, this is this is terribly delayed. And he called it who? Uh, oh, he's better than Ben Simmons. We ain't doing this. Oh, uh, okay. Now he has 18, 7, seven from 10 from the field. He had three threes. Should, should have took that bet. Yeah, I should have. Got it over. Or the, or, yeah, the over. Yeah, but he had five points to start the fourth. Yeah, you know, I, and, he was, and he wasn't even playing. He just got hot. I, I'm with you. But anyway. 
<laughs> Sorry, we, just, we got sidetracked. Yeah, yeah, we have ADD. This is the ADD podcast. <laughs> He hit another three. Oh, Damn. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Our words are really trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You letting the fucking fat ass hit threes on you constantly? Yeah. You fucking suck. Okay? <laughs> you just let an eye stick it in your eye? Six Usually, times. Usually, and it's funny because Zion only shoots wide open threes. Yeah, he too, only shoots so them wide open. If he's not wide open, he's not pulling. He's not, he's not, he doesn't yeah. shoot in people's faces. So the fact but that like, you let him shoot like that. But anyway, to get back on topic, like, what's your opinion on like the single life? Because uh, obviously you're in a relationship now. Like, um, you I don't single. want it at all. I don't want any part of it. I don't. I, it looks scary. <laughs> it looks bleak. It looks sad. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm happy with where I'm at. Mm. I hope I get even deeper into it and get even more washed. I can't wait <laughs> more to be further washed with my queen, so we could just be disgustingly washed together. Not too washed that we don't go out and enjoy ourselves. That's something we've been working on because mm. we're two like introverted people and we mm. like to just stay inside. Mm. So this year is like we're gonna push ourselves to go out more together, uh, like, vacations, go vacations, just going out and doing stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was easy to just. Park uh, up, chill. yeah, because we love just hanging with each other. Yeah. we just we we can just hang out. Yeah, because yeah, we, we just have fun with each other, so mm-hmm. we don't need to do a lot to enjoy each other's company. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we got to go out more and do more stuff. So that's yeah. that's the goal. Do stuff, but yeah, like I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't. Want it. it is funny because obviously <laughs> I don't want. I'm it. not in that realm anymore. But me, and you talked about this yesterday. What? The single life. It is oh, yeah. so bad out there. It's just yeah, like, it's, it's so it's, uh, terrible, bro. It's funny, but it seems as if nobody enjoys it more than this nigga because he be having mad fun when he's single. Yo, I he have has a good ball. time. You know what's funny is <laughs> I was with my cousin Stacy. Uh-huh. Uh, she lives down in Dallas, mm-hmm. and she was just like, she was just like, ever since you became single, you're just like a party was now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, no, I was single for a year. It uh, was uh, it was amazing. I think it was it was good. I got to experience like different people. Mm. I got to do things that I wouldn't have been able to do uh, if I was in a relationship. Like for instance, the last time we went to Vegas, mm. I wouldn't have been able to act like that if I'm in a relationship. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's just like uh, it's not even about like ch- changing. It's just like about respect. Yeah. Know? Like, you know, so. Yeah. My biggest thing is, I'm not, like, I've, I'm never, I've never been the person to just go out and just start doing a bunch of wild shit. Like, that's just not me. Mm. Like, the biggest thing that I get from single life is just not having to answer to anybody and just that is- knowing where I went, doing what I want. I don't have to text anybody back if I don't want to. I don't have to explain <laughs> shit to nobody. I'm going to do what I want to do. I don't owe anybody anything. Yeah. That's the best part of it to me, just having that type of mental freedom, I guess you can say. Mm-hmm. Just because, I mean, I'm not saying that if I'm in a relationship, obviously I'm going to respect all of that. But if I'm not in a relationship, there's nothing for me to be stressed about and to worry about answering to anybody. Like, I just be chilling. Like, I think the the part that the that the part be about being single mm. that's the most frustrating is like the gray area. Like, if you're talking to somebody, you're like, do I am I allowed to talk to somebody else? You know, doing all that shit. It's just yeah. It's like nope. Cause like I feel like for me, if there's a gray area, that means that there is a a form of confusion, yeah, which leads to just like uh, you're both not on the same page. Yeah. Well, for me, that's I don't. There probably won't be a gray area. Like I'm just like either this is what it is, or this is what it ain't. Like I'm gonna tell you. Like so, I mean, I don't. I see what you mean, but that's just part of communication. Just be like what are we doing. Like that's why I don't like. I don't like that bond shit. We got a bond. We, you know, there's no That's title. just manipulation. There's no title. <laughs> That's toxic manipulation. It's toxic. Yeah, manipulation. What's understood between us yeah. doesn't need to be doesn't explained. Need to explain to them. It doesn't have to be explained. Oh, pull this. So, yeah. It doesn't need to be defined. Something. Y'all need some type of. Define it. Yeah, because that's just how bad shit happens. That's just how people end up getting their feelings hurt. That's how I, some people. That's when you get hit with the. You're not even my girl. Yeah, you're not even my girl. You just fucking. That's my favorite line. I have a like shrapnel. Yeah. yeah. In your ass. World War II yeah. shrapnel. In your ass. <laughs> in your ass. Yeah. So you just can't fucking up. walk. Yeah. <laughs> fucking napalm. Just walking through that shit. Or Agent Orange. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even my girl, though. <laughs> Boy, you always shut up. Hiroshima. Yeah. 
<laughs> You'd hate to see it. Yeah. I haven't had to use that on anybody. Yeah, but you're a, you're a, you're a gentleman though. Yeah, you I am. Me? Oh. Yeah. That's you know who always says that? Army's like, yo, you're too nice. You're too nice, you're too nice. I'm like, bro, I'm not an asshole. I'm not a dickhead. Like, I don't be out here like that. Yeah. I never had. I never. But in some that. in some ways, like a like a leading a pack of wolves, mm-hmm. when you establish dominance and show them that you're an asshole, they like you more. That's definitely true. <laughs> it's like leading a. <laughs> yeah, nah. It's like leading a herd of fucking goat. Like if you establish yourself as the pack leader, yeah, <laughs> they'll be more likely the to more follow. follow. <laughs> and that's know. why they're because fucking stupid. Women, I can't get women don't know what they want. They want, they want the crip who graduated from Harvard. It's romantic. That's it's nice romantic. To, it's yeah. only nice to them, but yeah. 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 What is it with women? And he also played overseas. And hood niggas. What is it? I we've got we've gone over this in an episode before, like a whole episode dedicated to. It. I believe to me. That was a Vegas episode. No. Uh, what? No, that's an example. That is an example. Me, not nah, that, no, that's, that's, that's actually a great example. Nah, that's a great, great example. Great point, Quashay. But that's just another example of that. Like her, like and I even said, her energy changed when she thought I was <laughs> friends with a crew. Literally, I wait. No, if I you got, if I you got a hand it. job. In, in the, the pool. fucking pool. In the pool. Because she's like, jerk. this guy's yeah. a pilot who's friends with Crips. They're, this is <laughs> she, had the, she had the jackpot. She wanted him to bust he a nut in the, did she wanted him to bust a nut in the pool so she could like, suck it up with her. Yeah. Into yeah. the pool. Yeah, she wanted to like inject it into her vagina. And I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I saw the handy. Yeah, we he all was saw he was like doing the O face. Oh, yeah. like What's your opinion on that? But all right, so like, I want to I want to touch on that and then get into my explanation. Okay, okay. So y'all know what I look like. <laughs> Could be the furthest thing away from like a gangster or anything <laughs> like that. Like, come on, like yeah, I'm. Well, certain niggas coming to my window, I'm rolling my windows out. Right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, Jerome. I decide when we go to this club in Vegas that I'm going to put on a little blue bandana because I like the bandana. I like the way it looks on me, right? Looks good. Look good on me. I look, look good you look, that you look great. Right? Well, I know you look good. Right? Let's go in the pool. Some chick apparently asked Corey, oh, is that your boy? Yes. Is he a crip? Because I got the blue bandana. Corey, being a genius, oops it and goes, yeah, he's a crit. Yeah. Her entire energy changed towards me. Changed. changed. Now, being that I am a very faithful man, I didn't engage nothing crazy with her, but she went from not noticing me, right, to wanting to, like, be all next to be me, close, like, yeah. and close and try to dance on me and stuff, just because she had, she from the thought, thought of me being a crit. Do you, like, huh? Like, nothing changed. But the fact that you thought I was gang affiliated and that I was fortunate enough to be gang affiliated and to come to Vegas. Yeah. yeah. With a pilot. With, with a pilot. With men who seem to have it all together. But I'm the crit. But, um, yeah. But yeah. I, I don't, bro, I don't understand. Like, what it. the fuck? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. But I, because I'm trying to replay, I think, like, your explanation was. You think that they choose low quality men? They choose men that they feel are belief their that they believe are beneath their standard. Absolutely. So that they can feel, be- so they can always seem like impressive. Okay. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like it's like it's like chicks. It's like chicks who always hang out with ugly ugly girls, so they feel pretty. You know what it is? It's like that. That is compared to. Women, women dating down is compared to, but that's very a man. Yeah, it's compared to probably a man dating a younger woman. I think that's weird too. That shit's awful. That's weird. like, and even if it isn't like obviously like you know not saying it's an underage girl, but like let's say a thirty-five year old is dating a twenty-three year old, mm-hmm. and of course you're gonna feel better They're younger, about so they can manipulate. Yeah, yeah, you can manipulate that, and then you're like you're going, you have more than that person. Mm. So whatever you do is going to seem impressive. Like that's the same thing as when niggas was picking up girls from high school and they had cars. Like oh he got a car. Like that I feel like that's kind of like the same. The same. It's the same but different. Yeah. Parallel. It's like like they don't cross, but it's it's parallel. Like what's 
in your world is really like bottom tier, not bottom tier, but like well, basic need, shit yeah. is what's like really impressive to them it's their ceiling. because we come they, because they come from a different circumstance. Your floor is their ceiling. Yeah, yeah. yes. It's like the weird, and it's like even when like you ask women, when you try to explain it, they don't even give you like a real answer. Because like for instance, on my mom's side, my cousin, she's a lawyer, right? And she dates a drug dealer who doesn't even have a car. Like he drives your car, and it's just like I can't like now. Now that needs us. I just don't get it, and it's just like I never know how. I never noticed how common that shit is. Yo, it's very common. Shit, niggas just driving chicks' cars. Around, around. I see that a lot. I, I didn't know I that, was, how. That, I didn't know like women have. I'm like, is this fucking baby boy? How do y'all let this happen? <laughs> and it's just like she has it all together, and it's just like. And then, like, her explanation was, well, I could change him. No, the fuck you can't. Not, not even that. Why do you want to be in a relationship with someone that you have, you have to, change. to change? That defeats the purpose of being in a relationship. Women always think they can change a nigga's mind. Women try to exert control in different ways. Yeah, and that's right. one of their ways of doing it. For like, I built this nigga from exerting yeah, his yeah. mind. Nigga, at this point in my life, I would ne- if a woman was like, oh, yeah, uh, I don't have a car. Um, can I drive yours? No. No! <laughs> no. No. no, no, you can't drive my car. You know what? Actually, no, you can. Here's my keys, but <laughs> shove them up your ass first. <laughs> uh, now you can drive. Now you can drive. Turn ignition yeah. with your brother. It's keyless. <laughs> so all you gotta do is be near the car. Yeah. Like get the fuck out of here. Like the fuck. Now every, unless every time you fart, you lock the door. Yeah, I like come on, son. Every time you queef, you fucking set up the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't understand it. Like I don't, I don't know why. I just, I, you just have to have certain, like, standards. Like, people just, I don't know. I, then, I, that's just me. Maybe that's then, just me. And then what's crazy is, like, with standards can go too far to be like, I don't want to mess with a nigga unless he got it. Yeah. No, it's this two sides of the spectrum. Yeah, you yeah. know. There's no in between. Because, but they're also, like, like, especially because, like, chicks who usually mess with, like, hood niggas at, like, a younger age, as soon as they get pregnant by them. And it like, doesn't work out. That's like the soberest shit. Now nah, they don't want that guy. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, I've had an experience where maybe like six or eight months ago, she was like, this girl that I used to talk to, she got pregnant by like a hood nigga. Mm-hmm. He was in jail, not in the picture, didn't even take care of his son or anything. And it's just like... She oh, he already had a son? No, no. no she, he got her pregnant. Okay, okay. The girl that I was talking to. Yeah. And she was just like, I don't like messing with guys like you. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, I don't like talking to guys that like went to college, have a degree, have a well paying job mm-hmm. because they feel like they're like better. A, a, not better, but like they're above messing with girls who have experience with like hood niggas only. Mm-hmm. And she was like, That's why I don't like talk to niggas like y'all. I don't even know what to say to that, honestly. Like, I get what she's saying. Like, I, 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 I she's not like all off. Yeah, she's saying like that you feel like you're gonna look down upon her. Not, like, not look just, down like, on she'll her, just never like, be good enough. Not that, but like, like you need to treat me a certain way because you can go back to those type of niggas, low quality niggas. Uh, I mean, bitch. I mean, I think she's right. <laughs> I think she's right. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, like, is that, like, a is that a compliment, or is it a But dish? she's like, not the only woman that has said that to say me. Say that again, say it again. Let me yeah, hear it one more time. All right, sh- were you listening? Or no, I really wasn't. All right, no, 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 that's, no, that's what I was <laughs> saying. I wasn't. All right, so she, <laughs> now, said, this was the girl that I was talking to about, like, eight months ago, mm-hmm. and she had experience of messing with, like, hood niggas only. Okay. <laughs> and she was saying, and she was talking to me, she was like, I don't like talking to niggas like you because y'all feel like y'all should be treated a certain way because we're above those type of niggas. So she was like, so well, with respect. Well, I, I, no. I agree. I agree with that. I, no, I, she, no, she's not wrong. That's what I'm saying. Like she was like, cause she I was should like, be treated. She was like, better. I'm not going to, then she was like, I usually don't talk to men like that went to college, have a degree, have a well-paying job because Y'all feel like y'all have it all together. And y'all are the shit. So like, and then like, not that I was threatening her, but I would, I would, I would play around with her. Like, well, you can go back to those type of niggas, and she would be like, and I would get her mad. Yeah, because she would be like, that's what I'm talking about. 
Or then go back to the niggas. Stupid. Like, what are you like this? Fucking stupid. It sounds personal. That sounds I get what she's no, saying. I, I get what she's saying, but it I, just sounds like you no, have to do better. That's stupid. That's stupid. Because you you're saying that first of all, you're also saying that these niggas that you're fucking with aren't worthy of that type of treatment that these people are asking for. Number one, that's already like. You're fucking like disrespecting the niggas that you're fucking with. Yeah, number yeah, one. Yeah, Low key, yeah. yeah like, let's yeah. just, let's start there. And then number two, <laughs> what are they really asking for you to do? Like, cause I never heard no niggas ask for anything outrageous. I don't out of their out of their partners. No, I don't. And I, and I, me and you are the same. I don't like accepting gifts. Like, mm. like I don't even like that shit because, like, I don't like accepting gifts because that doesn't prove to be. How you feel about me. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Really I just feel like you're putting Anybody me, can give a gift. Yeah, you're putting me in a situation where I feel like you're just guilting me to give you something. Mm-hmm. And I don't mm-hmm. like that. But, like, when you say, uh, when she says, like, y'all feel like y'all are the shit, is it, the, is it that we feel like we're the shit or is it we're not going to tolerate some kind of fool, yeah, like certain gonna... foolish behavior yeah. because it's just unacceptable? Right? Yeah, I'm not about to sit here and just a take, hood your, nigga, take your bullshit. A hood nigga that, well, let's say, a hood nigga that doesn't have a car is going to be more willing to pull up with your bullshit. You know why? Because he has a, you have a car you have something he that needs. he likes to drive. Yeah, he, you you have, like you're at work. Because yeah. you have something he wants. <laughs> now, when well, a nigga, that's the same thing as like a, 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 a dude that makes all the money in the house. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. It's literally the same thing. Like, oh, he can't go to certain places because he, he doesn't have a proper ID or a passport, but you do. Yeah. So you like different shit like that. Yeah. He you can you have you, you can control are, him. You control him in certain ways. Yeah. Huh? So you provide you're a doorway to access to certain things for him. Mm-hmm. So I don't so that whole like that just sounds like you trying to take you trying to just get off by telling by treating men you deal with a, like without just it like you she's like like she felt some, like she was just some, losing the control like some yeah, women yeah. really just like low quality niggas because they feel like if they leave them that they can't do better so it makes them feel better mm. that's also control yeah, that's and control, it's low yeah. so, it's low self esteem like you can't do no better than me so you have no other like way. I'm your I'm I'm, I'm the your best, world yeah I'm the best I'm the dude, best yeah. you ever gonna have and it's yeah. just like and you again, wait a couple like, months, then like, you gonna see you'll never find nobody better than me. Like, no, nah, like, <laughs> I'm going back to my cousin who's graduated from law school, and I'm looking at her boyfriend. Like, the nigga has face tax. I'm just like, all right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? More quiet than I thought. <laughs> yeah, like, what? like, what is wrong with you, fucking yeah. Davies? But he loves me. He's real. <laughs> he's he's, he's real. real. You and you real stupid. And you real dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not she had to do better. All that shit is some type. It's a sick form of control to me. Yeah. When I when I hear that whole I mess with hood niggas. No, you try or, to it, this is the new thing. I don't mess with hood niggas. I just like aggressive niggas. <laughs> aggressive niggas. Huh? Huh? Gay? So you like niggas? Yeah. No, say it. Say you it. Like, you like the niggas that too? You got a fucking knot over your eye. <laughs> you like niggas that beat your ass? Yeah. That aggressive shit is cute yeah. until you wake up out of a coma. <laughs> a coma. <laughs> coma. Yeah. A yeah. coma. <laughs> shit. Oh man. Yeah. Y'all, y'all got it. So that motherfucker go upside your head with a yeah. phone book. Yeah, and obviously... Because the chicken was the season, right? <laughs> and obviously doesn't take away from the fact that niggas just have to do better. Yeah, but, both, both. yeah, everybody got to do better. Like, I don't know, man. Don't don't date down to make yourself feel better. Yeah. yeah. Anything, niggas need to work on themselves yeah. first. Yeah. It usually, you know nine times out of ten, if you have, like, the reach to, like, let's just say you magically date up, mm. that's just going to make you want to do better. Exactly. Like, if your intentions are pure, like, if you just actually like somebody, no matter what the situation they're in, that's different. But if you go looking for a certain type of person that is mm-hmm. literally not on your level, just because you feel like you can control it them. It almost sounds, pre- it's predatory. It's, it's prey, yes. That, you're a fucking predator. Because, like, that just shows that what you really think about. 
Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That just shows that you feel like that should be a slap in the face. If you're a hood nigga and you're listening to this and she only fucks with hood niggas, look at her funny. All right. Because she don't fuck with you like that. Especially if she's not even from that background at all. Like, especially. Yeah, like, like it's, especially. It's like, it all sounds because, like, not nah, because, like, no. Nah. You're, you're just a thrill to her. Yep. You know, it's that a fetish. Sounds like, that sounds like white, mu- white people that date black people, <laughs> they never get, to, they don't ever come to, like, Thanksgiving dinner. Because they're, they're uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like white people only dating black people because they want mixed kids. Yo. Huh. <laughs> Bring that shit around me, I promise. I'll spit on you. I'll, oh, I'll, okay. <laughs> I'm rolling. <laughs> All right, no, fuck it. Three like, for three. I'm rolling too. <laughs> I'm rolling yeah, with that. Three. <laughs> Dude, if you ever try to that, I don't mean to go off topic, but if you ever try to say you date somebody just so your kids are mixed, that's that's we got to be the last day we associate. Facts. Yeah, no, no there are, and, and we're we're saying this because we have people do it. People do this. People who said it. I've like, seen people say it on on TL. Yeah, that shit is weird. Oh yeah, certified weird. Last day we associate. Yeah, okay. absolutely. We're not we're not making uh pit bull breeds here. We're not, just, <laughs> yeah, we're not, that's not, we're not making is. Pokemon here. Yeah, all right, we're, we're making not. human beings. Yeah, this is the fucking the yeah. fucking breeding. Set. That's like remember the girl that was on the TL talking about how she was mad that her her child didn't have light eyes. Yeah. Yes. Like, what is all what? this for? Yeah, like what was all this? What was for? all? What? I went through nine months of pregnancy just for you to come out with dark eyes. Not the fact that you made a living breeding. Yeah. Human. What, are you, what are you fucking Hitler? Fucking what are you talking time? about? You fucking the, turd. The, no, the human, <laughs> the human that you created has eyes like you. <laughs> just didn't have green eyes. Didn't have eyes. eyes like what you, you thought. Fucking asshole. I'm so tired. Of people, you, you know, it. all that reminds me. Speaking of that, you see the girl that said, "Uh, babies were born with Al- <laughs> Alzheimer's." Yo, I heard about that, but I didn't really see that. What was that? Uh, did you see right, that? Yeah, it was the vaccinating shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. First of all, oh, this, this, that's another thing. This is a vaccination podcast. Vaccinate your kids. Yeah. Right. I don't play that. Give shit. them niggas shots. Give man. them niggas shots. The shots are for <laughs> for illnesses. Vaccin- they vaccin- do not. Vaccinate fucking polio into kids. If you don't vaccinate your kids, your kids are gonna have polio in 2020 something. Kids are gonna have the fucking suds. Yeah, yeah your, and die. your kids are gonna have weak ass legs, walk around with leg braces because you didn't want to give them a flu shot. <laughs> your kids are gonna make it to <laughs> kindergarten. You understand? <laughs> that motherfucking kindergarten. Their kindergarten seat is gonna be a fucking gravestone. <laughs> your kids. Your kids Bones are going to be so fucking frail. <laughs> no soccer for them. No soccer for little Timmy. You just fucking kids bones as chopsticks. Is <laughs> your kid is going to slide in the second base and disintegrate. <laughs> fucking vaccinate your, your kids. Your kids, <laughs> your kid's skin could be used as motherfucking uh, car cover. Car seat cover. This nigga ain't shit. <laughs> vaccinate your vaccinate kids. Vaccinate them kids. Stop. Kid. Stop it! And kids get sick all the time. Like, bro, I, I like kids I've walked are around kids bowls of disease. walking, walking suds, bro. They just be walking around like, <laughs> like just fucking sneezing on everything, coughing with their mouth of a. You like, understand? Stop. Those are the humans that you have to teach to yes. cover their mouths. You have to literally teach them, and you don't want to vaccinate them because you think that you're gonna give them Alzheimer's. At seven, <laughs> they don't know birth? shit anyway. Like Benjamin Button. The fuck oh you think this God. is Robin Williams? <laughs> people really just say anything on that app. People, people. man, listen, no, but people dead ass don't vaccinate though. That no, they, they, don't. Don't. they don't. They don't. Like I've seen anti anti vaxxers. That's what they call themselves yeah. on like Facebook and shit. What you call an anti vaxxer? Uh, I can't say that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, she lives down the street. Yeah, yeah, know you're talking about. Right. You know her too. I'm gonna send it to you. Somebody keep talking. Yeah, somebody tell. You. All no, right, so uh, anti vax. <laughs> Just, uh, I just want to know, vaccinate your kids, yeah, your kids are going to die if they don't. Fairly soon. <laughs> like, quick. Like, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, let, me put it in, let me put it into context for you. Your kids will die before Rihanna's album comes out. <laughs> your, your children are not going to hear Shaggy on the new Rihanna album. Absolutely. You understand it? I'm not going to hear That's it. how quickly your kids will die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was talking about Yeah, you, oh, yeah. Anti vaxxer, huh? Did you pull her up? Yeah, I put it in the group chat. What a stupid ass. <laughs> yeah. That she's raising this child. Yep. And they have it taken away. It's going to be in a bubble. It's going to have a fucking bubble, child. A bubble in the sky. <laughs> 
in the sky. <laughs> Vaccinate your kids, <laughs> man. Yeah, one. I'll take one call. There's fucking. There, what's going around right now in China? That fucking they, right. niggas that SARS two point oh. Yeah. It's another SARS. Yeah. Well, it's not SARS, but it's another virus. And like three hundred people got it one day, and then the next day, like five of them were dead. Yeah, so then, and then one nigga, one nigga flew back from China and flew into Seattle. He got it. So now they're like, "Oh, it's in America." Nah. Air travel is like the easiest way to do yeah to absolutely. like spread a virus. But my thing is, how come that shit happens in China like that? What what do they be doing? Like, you know why? They just like be walking around coughing in each other's mouths. Honestly, it's very it's common in China to walk around with a mask. Yeah, is it the air pollution? Is well, it the, the air, air pollution? The air quality is very bad. Air quality is horrible. It's yeah. shit over there. It's just fucking fucked. And not to be, I, I said it. I said it earlier. Mm-hmm. Like how they practice. They really are like in close confinement. Like mm-hmm. we make jokes about how many people are in China, but really, there are a fuck ton yeah. of people. In China, and then within China, most of those people are come this in the big cities. Yeah. So when you do that, hey Siri, what's the population of China? In 2017, the population of People's Republic of China was one billion four hundred nine million five hundred seventeen thousand three hundred ninety-seven. A lot of fucking people. Now, for for context, COD's comparison to America. Wait, not even a billion. Hey Siri, what's the population of the United States of America? In 2019, the population of United States of America was 328,239,520. Quadruple, nigga. You know how <laughs> you know how stupid I am. I thought that might have been the population of I don't know New Jersey. No, no, no. <laughs> more, <laughs> no, more than ha- more than quadruple yo. the amount of people in America. <laughs> yeah, that's why they was killing daughters, bro. They was they just that, had yeah. to stop doing that. Like they, they just you know, why, you know they just had to stop doing that they because they were, they were running out of women. They were running out of women, and, and now like, like per- and like the women were so scarce. They're like, that oh don't, shit, it's a fucking sausage fest. Yeah, the women, the like, there was it was so scarce of pussy in China that the price of pussy skyrocketed. Men didn't have jobs; they couldn't even afford wives. Like it was terrible. There was just no pussy out there. Imagine that. And there's, bi- and there's billions. That was me from like... Nigga, <laughs> 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 that was me from like 22 to 24. Nigga, I was... There is no pussy. <laughs> no pussy. Man, but I'm not... Like, speaking of travel, air travel, did you see the travel ban Trump is implementing? Yeah, he basically told Nigerians they can't go home. Yeah. Yeah, they got a ban on all open-toed shoes. <laughs> Any uh, no jollof in the United States? No, no, no jollof. Imagine if all the Nigerians have to stay they here. They said, "Burn a boy, get the fuck out! Get the fuck, get the fuck out! <laughs> Grab a nigga by the fucking yeah. mouth. Get the fuck out. Him and Wiz Kid. Yeah. Fuck out. Him and John Boyega. <laughs> Just There's grabbing like, no more Mandalorian for you, nigga. <laughs> Did they even? What was the reason? I don't is know. Is it just the open toe sandals? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that really it? It, uh, it, wasn't like, it was a couple other countries, though. It was uh, Santa 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 Boy. Nigeria and Sudan. That's so random because Sudan? niggas is literally at war with a. a well, damn, on the brink of war with it, Iran. You would have thought he did it for them or like countries in that area. You got time for that. Like, yeah, travel ban to add Nigeria, Sudan, Tanzania, and Etria. Why are you banning Etria? What the, the fuck? <laughs> Etria, like why? what? What are we? I don't know. It doesn't even say why. <laughs> I, I don't know. This guy's an idiot. He just uh. Can they like? We got four more years of this shit. Can they just like not do this? Not if we got something to say about it. I don't know. We getting this thing. I, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. All right. He, there's no way. There's no way. There is no. This man was on the brink of impeachment. There is there's no. Like, he got impeached. Way. He got impeached. I mean, he's still in here. No, no technically, he got impeached by only the the house, right? Yeah. But Thanks. I mean, he's not. He's not. Well, he's still the president. He's not going you know, anywhere. All right, but like he has right. to get impeached by. This is why I think he's gonna Senate, win again. Right? Have you ever met a Trump supporter that says, "All right, man, maybe I should have voted for him." You know, no. I can't remember the last time I met a Trump supporter who actually admitted it. Exactly. Because they're pussy. But I think they're I think they're <laughs> gonna not be as they're not gonna come out as much because they're shamed. They're not gonna come out as much and vote. Like like he got all those farmer motherfuckers to come out and vote. 
Then he, then he, and he fucked, fucked them. them. He fucked them. And he fucked them. Then he had to. Then he bailed them out, though. How did he bail them out? He, uh, he, no, he bailed them out. What do you mean bailed them out? Like you know how like President Obama bailed out, uh, huh? Yeah, he bailed out the banks. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did the same thing for the. For he the did farmers. the same thing for the farmers. That's what I'm saying. They're not that bad. He bailed them out. Mm. The only thing he really did, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I think he's gonna get elected again. I don't uh, think he's gonna get it again, man. Well, well, one, it's just like I feel like, especially with our age group, we need a Democrat in office. Especially like uh, we need like Elizabeth Warren or Bernie just for like the uh, student loans. Because mm-hmm. like, look at our age. Oh, group. please get rid of that. Because not it, it is. That's why they I'm keep that's calling why people me. Our age not are buying anything. houses. How many of our friends that have moved out? They don't have a house. They just rent an apartment. Yeah, because it's just not reasonable. To have like even like for instance when I when I left the gym mm. and I was dropping my my girl off home, she, we saw in in, in her neighborhood mm. four signs of foreclosure. Yeah, like bruh, like people can't afford their mortgage. Yeah, so it's just not enough pay out here. It is, it's not, it is. <laughs> and, and, we're, and you've said it before. We're just living in a time where you can't have one source of income. You impossible. Can't. Like, imagine if you didn't DJ and you had to rely on just your one check. I'd be out here sucking dick or something. Exactly. Selling pussy. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no way in hell that I would be, I would be fine. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd be, yeah, I would have an OnlyFans. Yeah, I was talking to Gary on Tuesday and he was just like, I have to have two jobs. Yeah, I told Gary, I was like, bro, you need a sauce. Because my, my, he's like, my student loans are just so bad right now. Yeah. So it's just like. It's impossible. <laughs> and it's just like Trump. He's he's not going to, and he's never mentioned. Uh, he's yeah, I don't think he's, he's not going to cancel it because no. he doesn't represent the people that need to be that yeah. need to cancel it. The debt is ridiculous. And it's so just like, like I, I always get so confused with like working class men and women who vote for him. Like, how are you benefiting from his presidency? He hates you. Yeah, yeah. you stand for everything he everything he's against. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the, I, and, and you, you know, you get it. Racism, man. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's how strong and deep rooted racism is in this country. Yeah, that a nigga like that can get elected and possibly get elected twice. You understand? And they don't give a fuck. And we know who he is. His biggest like fame, claim of fame, and him was being on a fucking TV reality show. Yeah, pe- that was it. He's a real estate agent. That became the president of the United States. Yeah, yeah. And grabbed a couple pussies yeah. along the way. That was the main thing, though. Like people were just like, "Man, he's rich. Like he can, he knows how to get rich, so we can get rich." Yeah, but it's like, a difference when you like what? Like, that shit. <laughs> there's people who literally wanted him to be president just because he was rich, and I don't even think he's as rich as everybody thinks he is. No, I'm about positive he's not. I know it's a lot of uh, Oprah will blow that thing out the water. Big bang, tank, little bang, tank over. Little bang, like he would fucking. She would have fucking Trump, uh, Trump yeah. on her, on her, on his knees, eating doo doo crumbs out of her butthole. <laughs> Stedman already does that. Oh yeah, Stedman. <laughs> just move, the, move over, Stedman. The, the, There's a new oh, doo doo crumb eater in town. Important announcement. Yeah. I know I'm in a relationship, right? <laughs> but I want to speak on behalf of me and my girl, mm-hmm. Rihanna. <laughs> We're single. Oh, yeah. You see if she was hanging out with the other day? We're ready to Who? Think of who? who else? Chris Brown? Drake? They just spotted together. Dwayne. He couldn't wait. He couldn't. Nah, it's the first thing he couldn't wait. He couldn't wait. He couldn't well, wait. no, Rihanna, she might already been hanging out with him. Like, yeah, because, I mean, she was with that uh, uh, Arabic dude for two years. Two years? Yeah. I've never even, I think I saw pictures of them together, maybe once. And the only pictures that you see of them are them arguing. Wow. <laughs> What the fuck? What do you even have in common with the Arabic prince? With money. Me, you both have money. <laughs> money. But money. I think it's probably interesting. <laughs> nah, I think. Here's nah, but look at it from money. her point of view. Like, I, I'm dating a man who doesn't need anything from me. Hmm? Yeah. And then you got Drake. Shit, he needs Cry baby ass nigga. nigga. He needs to smell that coochie. <laughs> <laughs> nigga needs everything. <laughs> Niggas caught me slipping. That's okay, so what? I would, yo. Drake probably gets on her nerves. Like, remember the, the 
Yeah, like absolutely. 100%. You see a video of him just laughing mad. I'm like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, like a probably, fucking hyena. Like she probably said, I don't know. Like I, I farted. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> like he couldn't. Like he could no, no way. No fucking way. Word. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking funny, bro. You're fucking funny. Like you're, you're, you're just funny, like, Oogie. Oogie. <laughs> like, and then he tried to kiss her on stage or whatever. No, that, like, that was bad. that nigga's embarrassing. Drake Drake is very embarrassing. I have some stuff for shit. You know what's crazy in the interview mm-hmm. that he just did? He was just saying that like that the relationship was just so severed that they could never do music again. <laughs> Hanging out. Oh, oh shut uh, up! Oh my god! <laughs> shut up! Shut the fuck up! He sounds like a fucking uh a, a puss a, a pussy <laughs> a fucking hurt bitch. That's what he sound like. I don't think we could ever find ourselves that way. As soon as she niggas said, a simp. as soon as she, she probably she probably sent that text. What you doing? I'm, I can be right there. Right there. <laughs> I, I ain't doing nothing. Air Canada, Air Drake, <laughs> Air Drake. He put his clothes on. He dushed himself. <laughs> Air Drake, Air Drake over to London. Fucking yeah, Drake beetle. definitely waxes his his taint. He yes, yes. That, like and he and he spit shines his balls. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga definitely gets his taint waxed. Legs up. Yeah, nigga. He uses party next door's handkerchief. <laughs> Speaking of that, he's supposed to be dropping music this month, and he's I have supposed to be doing a lot of things. Nobody's heard anything. Like, and the songs that he dropped, uh, they were just all right. Like, yeah. like loyal was cool. It obviously wasn't like a super banger. The news was like classic party next door shit, but again, yeah, not like another, the- not, a, not a super banger. So he's supposed to be putting out an album this month, but uh, looks like the nigga might be pump figuring us. I mean, he had he got he got. Of, until next week, so yeah. Uh, if if those are the two songs that are gonna be like, if that's the album, mm-hmm. you need to stop giving Drake your best shit. Yeah, absolutely, a thousand percent. It's not working out. Speaking of uh, speaking of music, did y'all hear uh, Davies do the box remix? Yo, can we all are we all in agreement that Davies actually fucking sucks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> He can't. I've been, been saying this for years. Niggas up again in the box. Give it again in the box. Give it again in the box. He's just, he just looks, he's a good looking dude. That's, that's really it. it. That's, that's really literally it. it. That's that is it. He, yeah, he's, he's a handsome man. I think it's like, what did you say? He's like Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a Michael B. Jordan rap. <laughs> he can't, he's not really that good at his job, but he well, looks good. Yeah, but he's, he's <laughs> nice good. to look at. He's, nice he's to look fun at. to look at. Like, yeah. Do you listen to Dave East, you? No, he doesn't have a warehouse job. <laughs> no, he doesn't work for UPS. <laughs> no, he doesn't work twelve hour shifts at Amazon. Yeah. No, we don't listen to Davies. They sell weed out the back of Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> sell weed during your lunch break. Sell weed out the back of said Amazon. Yeah, man, this Amazon. is hitting somebody right in the chest right now. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Well, you should stop listening to Davies. Yeah. <laughs> we don't get into the box. We don't get into the box. He sucks. He sucks. Like you can't. Even, I can't even play his music. Like nobody. You know how you know, I know he sucks. Nobody has ever asked me to play Dave East. Ever. <laughs> ever. Who the fuck? He just said never looking Vado. That's it. <laughs> Vado. Vado. Wow. That's really what Dave East is. <laughs> He's just Vado that looks better. Wow. <laughs> He's just Vado the model. Vado, Vado the model. model. <laughs> wow. That's the episode title. Vado, Vado the model. Vado the model. Yikes. <laughs> oh man. That's it. Yeah, man, you can really get put on out here if you talk. Yeah. And he's a hood, like a... He's a, he's he's a, a crip, he's right? A nigga, yeah. He's a crip. He's a, he's a, he's he's a Muslim crip. crip. Yeah, yeah. That played basketball. That, oh, that rap. Man. So he, that had a, he had a road to success. Yeah. But life was hard. Life was hard. Then he started rapping. He chose the streets. <laughs> now he has money. Yeah. He's successful off the streets. Like, get the fuck out of here. And he got chains with pictures of fallen loved yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. He's still a crip, but he respects his religion. And he has three friends named Mugga. <laughs> <laughs> Mugga, Rugga, and Bugga. Mugga Rail. <laughs> Mugga Chris. Yeah, Chris Rue. Uh, <laughs> Mob Rue. Rail Rue. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. ladies love it, man. We're really going in on Dave. The ladies love it. I mean, I don't want to be a hater. I guess the ladies love Cause it. Because you can't even like, quote a Davies bar. I, I've never listened to a Davies song all the way through. <laughs> nope. Well, we Davies bars. Yo, it's Davies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, it's Davies. Hey, yo, it's Davies. Nah, I could quote whatever he said in that Shiggy interview. What did he say? He, yo, uh, it's Davies. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Yo, it's Davies. Oh, man, listen, I don't even know anybody that listens to Davies. Mm -mm. No, because that's you know a lot of people have self-respect. Yeah, that's true. Anything um, else happening in music? Um, uh, is, uh, with the song that Future and Drake drop, mm -hmm. is that uh, is that just a Future song that's going to be on the album? Or is that like... Two songs in one for real? No, like, or is that just like is, are we gonna get a what a time to be alive? Uh, I think we're getting. I think we're gonna get another one. <laughs> um, I think that song easily could have been a summer banger if they would have waited. Um, but you know, I think we are gonna get another uh, what a time to be alive. Uh, it definitely had that vibe. It was definitely another case of future feature and Drake, which is all what a time to be alive. That's was. really all that it, it is. Was future feature and Drake. Because, like, uh, it was Rory. He was talking about it. He was just saying that, like, Drake can't indulge in Future's world. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't think that Future can indulge in Drake's world. So he was like, that's why What a Time to Be Alive is just a bunch of Future songs with Drake features. That's I, really all I think thing. that's true. I think that makes a lot of sense. Because um, I don't think that Future carried Drake on Life is Good. I don't think Future carried Drake at all. I think Drake actually had the better part. I think I think the, he had the more quotables. He had yeah, the more, he had more quotables. Parts. Yeah, Future's part was just way longer. Yeah, that's really way longer. longer. Like yeah, the second true. half of that song is actually long as fuck. Yeah, exactly. Like that shit is fire. But I, I, Drake, I like the song though. Yeah, I like, I like the song. Drake Drake definitely killed it. But I, you know, I I think it might lead into another uh, What Is Time to Be Alive, or even if they call it something different. Yeah. Um, because you know, I would, so. personally, I like what a time to be alive. I do too. I nigga. like that. Program. Diamonds dancing. Oh, Look, nigga, fly from the gutter. And this? You know <laughs> what I need from you <laughs> when I get home. <laughs> that nigga said, Dude. That "Nigga said, doing me dirty." <laughs> he was so pissed. I listened to the out, bro. I rewind that sh that part back every time I listen to it. He was so upset. Who heard Drake like that to sing like that in my song? <laughs> I like that. Whoever, I, you ever heard yeah, him? Yeah, we never heard him again. Do it again. Yeah. Heard him again. Was that before Rihanna? Uh, nah, that, that was, was after, after. That was after. Yeah, 100% after. Yeah. Doing me dirty. <laughs> I'm drinking this bag. This is Yo, dangerous. No, this is dangerous. No, dangerous man. This is a dangerous bro. nigga right there, bro. Like, like, even like with Jaded. He was really in his bag. He's just, he's just a corny ass nigga, man. Oh, oh he, really, was, that's really he was in the super bag with Jaded. Yeah. Super bag. Shout out to that man. Yeah. Um, Love the music. Never want to meet him. Nah, I I would I would want to meet Drake. I think I would. You know what? Drake is one of those niggas you just laugh at. Like, like we laughing at you, nigga. Like exactly what Flex was saying. Like yes. you just laugh at him. Like he's just a a goofy ass nigga. Any man in his thirties that just gets his ear pierced, you can't trust. He him. He did just do that. You can't trust him. Not at all. He might as well get a mohawk. Might as well. Like if that's the route we're yeah, going. Exactly. But if that's the route we're going. <laughs> I don't know. uh Drake is funny. Um, you know what else I wanted to talk about? Uh, is there any other music thing before we leave this topic? Uh, no. No, really. Nothing else really happened that I, that I can think of. What? Oh, wait. Oh, we did want to talk about uh, the whole the box thing, I guess, with Roddy Rich and Selena Gomez yeah. and Justin Bieber. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. Yo, I don't think we got a chance to really talk about it last sad. episode. I'm going outside. Yo, uh, Justin Bieber's going to be super you sad. love to see this. Oh, like, hell yeah. Absolutely love to see this. Yeah. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber, you fucking pasty white tokens, <laughs> are going out sad. Y'all are perfect for each other. They're perfect it, for each other. It is yeah. beautiful to <laughs> see. Man, I love it. You understand? Because uh, Justin, but basically, if you guys aren't, you know, privy, you guys have no context, I will provide, we will provide. Do that. You know, Justin, okay, so Roddy Rich, what's his name, Roddy Rich, right? Yeah. Put out a song called The Box, which is, which is fire, it's been taking over the internet, everybody's been making their TikToks and their memes and different things, they even had the, the white man that looks like a school, school parent. Singing it in his car, it's a, it's it's amazing. It's gonna be on Ellen soon. I was, Ellen's gonna sing it somewhere. I know it's gonna be great. Yeah, right. It's really on fire right now. But now, if you know it's blazing all the charts, and you think right now, if you're an exec, a music executive, you'll probably think right now is not the best time to release a single. If I'm trying to go number one, because mm -hmm. ain't nothing funny with this box shit. Yeah. Well, not the niggas at Justin Bieber's label. They underestimated the power of the box. Okay. 
They a not only ten. not only did they put out a song called Yummy, they put out a trash song. You don't like it? Yummy. That shit is you ass. Don't like, you don't like Yummy? Corey, you don't like Yummy? I don't like Justin Bieber. <laughs> I like Justin Bieber. I'm like, so. he's very talented. Yo, he's fire. Saying, this shit is, is man, This shit is whack. Come on, da 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 That shit is catchy. It's, it's a good song. It's just like, like yummy, yummy, yeah, like, yeah, like, yummy, 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 yummy. I like it. No, it's that? just not a number one not song. That's the all. The part of the song is the chorus. Yeah. That should never be the case. That's the part I'm yeah. supposed to look forward to. <laughs> That's true. That's the song. Here's my, I just don't think it's a number one hit. No, it it's just stinks. not. I don't think it sucks. He wanted it's it to be a number one, one hit just because he's Justin Bieber. Yeah, That's he wanted it to be number yeah. one because of Justin Bieber. He hasn't dropped a song in a while. That shit is a two-pack of That's ass. Why he is. <laughs> nah, he rolled that out because that's why he apologized for saying the N-word to us. And then, he apologized for that? He did. Recently? Yeah, on Twitter. But he said that shit when he was like 12, right? Older than that. He was like one less no- lonely nigga. Like 14. One nah, he did a chainsaw. He chainsaw. Oh, yeah, run nigga. That was the same, yeah, that was the same interview. Things. It was the same interview. He was telling nigger jokes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, cha- he changed his own song into one less lonely nigga. And then <laughs> said, what, is a, what does a black person say when, when they're running from somebody or whatever? Run nigga, 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 nigga whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. Like, what? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. But um, a little more creative than that. Yeah, well, that was whack. Yeah. Well, actually, I have, I have, I have, we're gonna play that. What the the apology? One less lonely by E. Oh wow, yeah, do that. Uh, I gotta see. Say, where my headphones, guys? No fucking took them off. Here it is. Uh, uh, song songster of the lovely track "Yummy," Justin Bieber. <laughs> One less lonely nigga. <laughs> One less lonely nigga. One less lonely nigga. Gonna be one less nigga. If I kill you, I'll be part of the KKK. Then there'll be one less lonely nigga. There's like niggas giggling in the background. Nigga. That's Selena Gomez. Nah, nah. I'm about to say, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but My thing is, like, he was a kid. And he was he was being recorded on a camera, and uh, where were the adults? <laughs> were they in the I background? Guess, was, <laughs> guess, the filming. They press they press record. That was know. a studio camera quality camera right it there. It was. It was. He like one less lonely nigga. <laughs> and somebody's in the background giggling. Yeah. Man, that is uh, that is ugly. They were fucking tickled. That is the ugly truth. Right you think there. I want to listen to that shit? <laughs> You want to listen to anything that comes out of that nigga's mouth? He said, if I kill you, you'll be in the KKK or whatever. Like, they have initiation <laughs> like, it's, like it's the Crips. Yeah, that was a... Uh, Don't take anybody. That was distasteful. Yeah. So, he makes yummy, you know. <laughs> Same dude who yummy. made that made yummy. Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, it doesn't go number one. It's stuck. <laughs> it's what is just, it? It's still, it's still at number two, I think? I don't know, but it's, it's just, it's not number one. Yeah. So, this nigga goes on a whole, like, rampage of, like... He's on Twitter and Instagram. Hey guys, yeah, he's like, just he's like, like that. Yeah, he's like, like that. Like yeah, woe is me. I really want to go number one. Da, 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 da. If you can please stream Yummy, blase, blase, blah. Can you please? Can you please stream Yummy? He's on here looking for it's been a cracker. dream of mine ever since I was singing Lone One Less Lonely. Like nigger. he's never, had, he's acting like he's never had a number one. Like it's just really been something I wanted to do. Man. A blah, 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 blah. You don't know he has blah, Lyme blah, disease? Blah. He does. He has Lyme disease. Stop hanging around deer, more. Yeah, I don't know how to fuck. to get lemon disease. Somebody said Scooter Braun, his manager, will give him the, the cure for Lyme disease if he went number one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, why he's what is Lyme disease? So Lyme disease. Yeah, let's ask, let's ask Siri. Hey, Siri, what is Lyme disease? <laughs> when you don't have enough Here's lemons. Here's what I found. Spread by ticks. I'm not gonna explain. The fuck is Justin Bieber yeah. doing around Lyme ticks? disease? I don't know. Lyme disease, also known as Lyme borreliosis, a little bit. Right. Sim- <laughs> uh, it gives you rashes. Uh, the symptoms are fever, headaches, and tiredness. Yeah, that's why all the videos well, look sleepy. Yeah, on his well, his his side effects are making yeah. him look like a fucking meth. If, if it goes untreated, uh, it could paralyze uh, sides of your face, joint pains, severe headache, neck stiffness, and uh, mess with your heart a little bit. And uh, it also makes you not go number one. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> really? <laughs> this actually what? sounds like a pain in the ass. <laughs> that, like, no. Nah. If I if I was Justin yeah, Bieber, it's, it's very true. I'd be pissed. <laughs> Because <laughs> you can't go number one, man, can you? You're only out here taking number two. <laughs> number two. You're only out here pooping. His song situation is kind of like his Lyme disease situation. <laughs> Always number two. <laughs> never number never, one. Never number one. <laughs> um, so he, yeah, so he's going around saying. Please, guys, stream it. Stream it when you're sleeping. Come on, man. Come on, <laughs> man. Me, man. Stream me, man. I'm stuck your dick, man. <laughs> so then shortly after that, as if that wasn't a fucking enough, his ex, I'm, that was his ex, right, Selena Gomez? Yeah. She Selena also, Gomez. She also was getting piped down by the weekend. Um, she gets on Instagram. Looking like a brat's dog. Looking like a fucking moron. She's like, hey guys, I know I don't normally do this, but if you can really go stream my album, it'd be really cool because I put so much hard work in Blase Blase Blah. I work blah. really, really hard. Because Roddy Rich doesn't work really, really hard. Apparently. Yeah, he. Uh, like, yeah, because like nobody else. from the bottom. Yeah, literally. literally. <laughs> go stream his song, The Bottom. Then she tried to chew those up like, I heard he's a really great artist. You don't know shit fuck about Roddy Rich, bitch. You don't know shit about him. You don't talking. know Shut nothing about up. War right. Baby. You don't know nothing. nothing about that. Nothing. You don't know nothing about them. You were like, Richie stuff. Rich, I love Richie, that movie. Yeah. Richie Rich. Mm, fuck out of here. So then Roddy basically trolls both of them, and he was like, get on Twitter, he's like, yo, go stream Yummy by Justin Bieber, go stream whatever by Selena Gomez. <laughs> you might listen to that bullshit. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So... Uh, I mean, neither one of them were going to get number one. It's pretty funny that Selena didn't get it, though, because she actually has the most followers on Instagram. Yeah. I don't think she broke the record for most likes on the picture. Too. Yeah, she did. I think I she don't. broke Beyonce's. Which is crazy, because I don't know anybody who listens to Selena Gomez. And I have a I have a 10-year-old niece, and she's never even said that bitch's name. So, like, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, a, like, who does this? She has 166 million followers. That is fucking insane. And you're telling me you can't get number one? Cause she's probably nice to look at. You don't want to hear that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, nobody wants to hear her music. But either way, <laughs> Roddy Rich, well deserved. He's been on a tear for the last about. It's been about a year and a half now since he really, really started. But um, shout out to that young man. Yeah, man, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, that's keep that's it my going. boy. Um, y'all want to talk about sports for a little bit? No, 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 no. no. Well, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What else? You got? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, did I miss whoa. something? Whoa, yes. Yes, yes you did. What? You know who's really on a tear? <laughs> Let me give you a hint. <laughs> he said he doesn't know. Who's on tear? Somebody passed me some some, some smaller. <laughs> right. Who? Uh, you talking about? You know. <laughs> You'll hear it in one sec. Listen. On this podcast, we have a few. We don't have many heroes. You know, to, in today's day and age, there's not a lot of heroes nowadays, you know. Donald Trump is, uh, is, um. Oh, don't you know, worry about Nick. He's, 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 uh, he's fucking bringing the world to ruin. <laughs> uh, R. Kelly's in jail. Uh, Wale is still making music. He, they gave that nigga a tiny desk concert. Yeah. And. You know, and I, I just, it's sometimes where it, it, it seems hopeless, you know, but you know what I can always count on, even when I can't count on him, I can count on Mr. Orlando Brown <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> to give me some, yo, I can count on him to say or do or say anything, something <laughs> that could, that could gives me nothing short of pure joy <laughs> in my heart. So does everybody have headphones that they can hear this? Um, I'm good. I know exactly what you're about to play I'm now. Good. Play All right, so I'm about to just play this real quick. Well, I want y'all to hear so y'all can react. So we can have <laughs> some Let me grab some some headphones. Uh, so here, uh, Corey, here, take some, take these. Uh, I love this podcast. Yeah, it's it's it, we're, we're shout good. out to Q. 
<laughs> you know what? You're the, you're the MVP. Shout this. out to Q. We got Shout our phone fun- functionality. We got we got phone functionality, so we can make phone calls on this hoe now. Yeah, now y'all can stop bothering me about coming on, and we can actually just call your ass. Yeah, and we can just do it. <laughs> we stop breathing up. Stop, stop breathing up all my fucking air. <laughs> <laughs> Making it hot down here with your nigger heat. <laughs> What's your nigger heat? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we can just keep it cool down here. We can just kick we it on keep the it, phone. Keep the thermostat nice and regulated. <laughs> Fuck it. Cool. I'm not going to act like, stop acting like I'm really listening and just hang up. <laughs> like Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so, we all, we all, we all, we all, we all tap in like 4X. Tap in. All right. This sounds why so much better. Why are you better. trading? Yeah, why, right, why aren't you trading? Why aren't you listening to Orlando? <laughs> oh, don't worry about Nick. Nick, okay, look, fine. He says, okay, fine. Don't worry about Nick. <laughs> fine, okay? You want me to tell everybody? You want me to let everybody know about that? The okay. cat's about to come out the bag, guys. Nick, I let you suck my dick. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He, said he, he said he let. Okay. <laughs> fine, I said it. I let Nick suck my dick. And, <laughs> and I liked it. It was okay. It was <laughs> Nick, you suck my dick. I liked it. Knows you did. It was okay. He gave him a fair raving but review. Nick, you suck my dick. <laughs>
Uh, we need to we need better support systems for our youth and take care of our. Oh, I think he's older than you, Nick. He might be, he or they he, might be the same. He's exact got. Age. I know he must. He, I know Orlando Brown is older than this. Let's see. Find out how old old Nick is. I'll find out. Orlando's thirty two. Thirty two? Nah, Nick's older than him. By like four years max. Nah, Nick is. Nah, Nick's got to be in his close to forty. No. I don't think so, man. Yeah, like, well, you said Orlando's thirty two. He's thirty nine. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, cool. okay. Right. Either way, seven years that ain't nothing too bad, right? Yeah, at all, right? That ain't nothing to bat your eyes at, is it? I watch various, various blank. I watch various of these young brothers' videos, and all I see is a cry for help. So I don't know if there are any real leaders or solid individuals in this young man's life, but let's embrace him and tighten him up. So he doesn't become another lost victim to these Hollywood circumstances. I do believe this brother has the guy given talent to be on Wild and Out. <laughs> yeah, see? But this definitely ain't the way to audition. This actually hurts my heart to see what we have a lot Orlando along with various other young, gifted performers we grew up loving to just dwindle away at these corporations made their billions off of them. Now, due to substance abuse and diagnosed psychiatric disorders, our loved ones are now aimlessly begging for the attention they were once given instead of the help they actually need all while we sit back and just laugh the most irresponsible parties involved in all this is our media specifically the cultural conscious for us to continue to post slander and tear one another down for clickbait to make these white supremacy propagating platforms more money is asinine and deplorable these cannibalistic tactics only destroy us really in post like this, who wins? We might chuckle, joke, pass the gossip with, on through our low frequency vibrations. So you have me up until you said low frequency vibrations. Oh, what the fuck? But does it truly make you feel good, especially knowing that there are higher powers looking down at your I hold, so I hold at heart radio complex world star accountable. Shut the fuck up. Do you man. really think they give a fuck about anything you just said? Yeah, <laughs> man, you thought you just wrote a whole book. Answer. Just say, like, I hope he has. He needs help. He needs help. That's all you can say. All you have to do is say, I'm praying. I'm praying for him. I'm praying for him. He needs help. I hate people that use a lot of words to say nothing. Yeah, really bother. You're you're over analyzing and trying to make it seem like you're just sound smart. You're Nick Cannon, bro. (laughs) Ain't nobody trying to hear that from you. Ain't nobody trying to hear really much from you. They can play the drums. Yeah, like. (laughs) Excuse me, go go produce the show. Like you wasn't saying that when you snuffed the fat nigga. Wait, what? <laughs> and drum line. Oh, and drum line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, he punched the nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Snuffed the nigga that was eating his mouthpiece. Mm-hmm. So aggressive. <laughs> mm. Gosh, just so aggressive. <laughs> that nigga was eating his mouthpiece, eating his chin strap. <laughs> he he punched that nigga in the face. That nigga was munching on that chin strap. <laughs> I mean, like, God damn, boy. Because he used your drum set. Yeah. But I feel like Orlando Brown only said what he said about Nick Nick Cannon. Obviously, Orlando Brown is crazy. But I think he specifically said him because he knew he's going to get a reaction out of Nick Cannon. Like, if that's anybody else, is anybody really reacting to that? Probably not. Like, not nobody would say Because you're going to lose regardless. Cause yeah, it's Orlando Brown. yeah, it's Orlando Brown. There's no win. Like, But I'm saying all that to say this. Who do you think is going to win in a fight? When they fight? Because they're going to fight. And Nick or Orlando? Mm-hmm. Orlando would murder that nigga. <laughs> hey, don't, <laughs> don't I think he would literally <laughs> start eating him. Don't Nick, he would eat that nigga's Nick face. Got, yeah, Nick got lupus, first of Starting all. Starting with the... T- oh. Yeah, he punched that nigga once and it's over. Yeah. He gave that nigga's chest in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that lupus. That, yeah, that make you weak. <laughs> that don't that don't help nothing. That nigga will take the long sleep. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> knock his slap, turban slap clean off. the back of his head. Knock his clean. Knock that that nigga off. might die off an open neck. <laughs> <laughs> he at least get knocked out. An open neck. Open neck. <laughs> oh, nigga got a fresh cut. <laughs> <laughs> and he slap that nigga to an oblivion. That nigga would have survived the middle school. <laughs> that nigga would have been did it in the Open neck. <laughs> oh, it's man. It's sort of like, here lies Nick Cannon. At least he had a fresh cut. <laughs> here lies Nick Cannon. Death caused by Tipper. 
<laughs> no, those those were worth it. <laughs> when I got hit with one of those, I I really preferred man, that. Oh man, you got hit with a tipper. I really would have wished I just laid yeah. down and Especially when it caught one of your nuts. <laughs> oh, oh man. man, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I really wish I just. That should I would be, rather. I was just. Yeah, that should make your nuts just crawl back up inside lay you, down and die. <laughs> and like your nuts a are dog. just looking at you like, what's going on out here? <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, but that would definitely take Nick Cannon right the fuck out. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, Orlando Brown would literally murder that nigga. Yeah, like it wouldn't then, even be close. And then eat, eat, eat yes. his entrails <laughs> like chitlins. <laughs> yeah, Orlando Brown's crazy. Now he definitely needs help though. I hope. hundred percent. I don't know who needs help though more than him or Antonio. The Browns just ain't. The Browns. If your last name is Brown, it's not. You are up. fucked up. You are fucked. Mm. AB, so what's up? AB got like a warrant, right, for his arrest. Yeah, he threw a brick. He threw a rock at a, like a truck driver. Was there any reason behind this? We don't know yet. Like did the truck driver <laughs> ride by? And be like yo, fuck Antonio Brown. Even if he did, I feel like that's not warranted. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so him and his personal trainer got arrested. His, well, his trainer got arrested, but he just has a warrant now. Yeah. So, so they didn't come get him yet. Yeah. But I know his has no bond. Like, so once they get him, that's it. Like, you ain't getting out. Yeah. I even know they, well, he lives in Florida, right? Yep. So you better, yeah, you better get the fuck out of there. That's your first mistake, Bill. Still being in Florida. Yeah. Mistake number one. But, Remember, I told y'all, I told y'all, if he doesn't get a team, get on a team this year, this nigga is going to jail. He needs to go to jail. He needs to be humbled. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's just, it's, he just has too many issues. Like, his life is moving way too fast right now for him, and it's because of him. So he just needs to slow the fuck down. And then on top of that, he's already kind of, like, touched in the head already a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, yeah, he's from Florida, so they're yeah. already, like. Yeah, yeah. He's dwindling. He's already he so combative. <laughs> Com- combative. They are. They are. By birth, naturally. Yeah, that nigga. I don't know, man. I, he has way too much talent, like to be like this, and it just it sucks. I knew he was going. I knew he was going crazy when he dyed his mustache blonde. Mm-hmm. That's when I knew the CZE was kicking in. It was stomping the in. Young Jeezy came in. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is really Vontez Perfect's fault. <laughs> that nigga was smacking the fuck out of him every time they, them niggas played twice a year. He was beating his ass, <laughs> literally like a goddamn yeah, drum, like, like a fucking drum. Every chance he got, he was hitting Antonio Brown upside his head. That nigga pedigreed that nigga. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> fucking face to the dirt. Yeah, had a nigga in a Ben Wild oh crossface. Yeah, I don't know. Do, do y'all see Antonio Brown ever playing in the league again? Nope. You nah. Uh, How, is he old? Is he? He's not thirty yet, is he? He's thirty. He's thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Nah. He's mean, done. Do well, I mean, because I think he's gonna be out the league for at least another year. And time's a waste. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. She'll be thirty-two this year, in all in July. Yeah. yeah. So thirty-two in July. So let's say, let's just say, because this season's over. So let's just say he goes all off season and he clears his name or whatever. And he can finally get back on the team. Coming in the league at 33. He'll come back. No, no, no. I mean, if he comes back into the league next season, uh, he's going to get suspended. All right? At least. At least. At least. He's going to at least. Corey, how many games he's going to do? At least how many? What's, what's, the, what's the league's favorite number for a nigga? That, eight? Yeah, I say it's six. <laughs> they love that six game shit. So he get at least six, maybe eight. And I feel like, depending on the team that he comes back to, he might play those last, those last how many, however many games, and then he'll have one more season after that, like a full season, and then curtains. Because I mean, he the dude still can ball. Like he came, he we saw him ball it early this season for the Patriots. So, but you gotta wade through a river of shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, to begin the ball and deal with him while he's playing. There. Absolutely, but I mean, we'll see. It just depends on if he can get his act together. Um, you know, once his life kind of slows down. Uh, once he goes through all this legal shit, mm-hmm. you know, I think he'll have, I think he has one and a half seasons left in the league. That's about it. And I'll give him that at most, but other than that, I think it's pretty much slow for him. Y'all think he's still a Hall of Famer? Oof. Does that does this, like, take him out? 
Because he was Hall of Famer already. Like He was, yeah, he was. Uh, I think this takes him out just because he's such a fucking headache, bro. Yeah, because if T.O. He is him, what the media wants Odell to be. He is what the media I don't think thinks all the, all, the, all, the, all the diva wide receivers are. Yeah. Randy Moss, T.O., definitely T.O. Yeah, but T.O. never. Been that's what I'm saying. Never. Like. That's what they. That's Randy what, Moss too. He's never exactly. Yeah, Randy Moss never got in trouble, did he? No, he just no. smoked weed when he was a teenager. Yeah, that's it. To never got in trouble. He just he was just loud and black. Yeah. They didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't know how else to say it. He didn't like that very much. <laughs> loud black nigger. <laughs> that's all it was. Um, Yo, and I, I love sports media. They are making up stats for this nigga Zion, man. They, uh, they're going to give him all type of records. Nah, ESPN tonight. is infamous for that. They'll make up they stats. They're going to give him stat, all. He's the, first left-handed, record, he's the first left-handed nigga over 250 pounds to score four three. <laughs> like he had the most debut points in franchise probably history. probably true. So? And, and what does cares? that mean? He has the most points out of anyone to ever play in the state of Louisiana. Yeah. Like, what? What the fuck is that? Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. They're going to give him some type of record, though. <coughs> fuck ESPN. Uh, speaking of fuck ESPN, y'all want to go to sports? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. We here. Um, it was something I was about to say. Um, as far as sports, I don't remember what it was. It wasn't the Aaron Rodriguez. I mean, Aaron, Aaron Hernandez thing. Oh, oh! You know, I just found out that a cop recorded that. Yeah, he got suspended too. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Um, if you haven't seen Delonte West, he used to play um with LeBron in Cleveland. He was on the Celtics for a little bit. Before that, his claim to fame was going to St. Joe's with Jameer Nelson, and they went pretty far in the tournament. And that was a really huge thing for like this area. Um. But now he's basically like all strung out on drugs. He has a family. I don't know where they are. Um, but we've seen multiple pictures and videos of him just kind of just in the streets, just looking really crazy. Like his hair is not cut. He looks dirty. Uh, he just looks really unkept. Like it's bad. And a lot of people are thinking that the NBA needs to step in or somebody like, I know, uh, a couple of people are like reaching out via Twitter saying like, yo, where is he at? I'm going to get him out of wherever he is. So, I mean, it's cool to see athletes, um, trying to team up and help him out. Um, but this is this 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 hasn't been anything new. This has been going on for a few years now. So the fact that people are really starting to like be serious about getting them help now, um, I just hope it's not too late for them. Um, but I don't know. How'd y'all feel about seeing that video? I mean, I kind of felt bad just because like he had his ticket, mm-hmm. and then like to see him strung out on drugs like that is kind of just like it's not even funny. Like. There's nothing funny. There's about nothing funny. No, it's literally nothing funny about like if you see any of those videos, it's not mm-hmm. funny. Like it's just like whoa. But I also feel like with the NBA and being an employee for a certain amount of time, mm-hmm. and then being like the multi, it's a multi billion dollar association. Yeah, they should step in and get. You should take care of them, or at least attempt to. You know, <laughs> anything. Excuse me. Um, like anything to help him out. Like, there's money. There's plenty of money in the league, so it's not like they're pressed for it or anything. Just help the brother out. Like, it's pretty bad. Like, um, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron steps in, like, closet. Like, nobody would know. Like, I don't think he'll publicly do it. After all those rumors? Yeah. Like, all- about oh, yeah, I forgot that's about what, that. That's what I said. I forgot about that. I mean, I don't know, man. Well, it was just rumors, though, right? Like, I don't know. Did anybody ever? It was never tr- truly yeah. confirmed, right? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I forgot but about that. But even the fact that those are rumors, that's mm. like yeah. kind of annoying. Delonte yeah. never shut him down, so. Yeah, exactly. But I mean. Delonte clearly was never. <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not going to say much, but you see where the nigga at now. So, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't really take his hey, word for the Like, so, I mean, yeah, I, I just hope. Other athletes step in. I mean, played in the league for eight years. Like, yeah, that's a decent amount of time years, in the man. NBA. Eight yeah. years. Eight years. Yeah. Two teams, right? Uh, or how many? Well, he was on the two, three, four, five. Five teams. Yeah. Damn, I didn't really play for many teams. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, but that should go to show. You know who else is out here looking crazy? Y'all seen Adrian Broner's post? Yo, he, yo, did y'all, he's wild, nigga. Or, see, yeah. you see what he said. <laughs> Right, let me see if this is still on this page. Uh, it, it probably, it probably it's not, but he was asking people to cash app him money. Ten dollars, right? Because he's just broke. But uh, nigga, you, you, AB, AB, 
Uh, Adrian Broner. Like, I've seen him fight and make more money <laughs> in one night from losing. Yeah, he still he just posted it again. I'm sorry I haven't been posted on social media, but I'm going through some tough times at this moment. If you can send me ten dollars on Cash App, I will appreciate that. Support me and I'll fight for you. Jesus. Yeah. That's the same thing as when they caught um <laughs> Yeah, that's bad. That's <laughs> Yeah, this shit don't make no damn sense. Like you made all that money, bro. Like there's no way what are you doing with it? What There's are you doing? There's just no way he doesn't have money. Like, no, I firmly believe he don't have money. You think he doesn't? I, I believe he's broke, bro. Because you got to think, he's not Floyd. And at the end of the day, it's just like, I feel like no matter how much money you make, if you live a lifestyle where you're always spending money, you got to yeah, think he got lawyer fees. He's been arrested. So it's just like, I, in, in not for nothing, he comes across as a little slow anyway. So it's just like, I can Definitely see a little broke. bit slow. Definitely a little slow. Um, I'm looking through his Instagram right now. This nigga just be June 20th, 2019 at 50 Cent. I'm throwing another 20,000 tonight, nigga, and I ain't giving you shit on Monday. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Nobody's sending. Uh, I'm sure people are actually sending him money, so that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just really weird. I don't know if he's actually sick. I don't know if there's something like... You hate to see it. You really do. But um, it's been a bad week for athletes. Very bad. Very, very um, bad. Obviously, to top it all off, if you haven't heard, Andrew, Andrew, uh, can't talk. Aaron Hernandez um, was out here fucking niggas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Because uh, we did talk about it. We did. Yeah, we did. Well, I mean, I guess going a little more about it, like, um, because people just haven't stopped talking about it yet. I just think it's really crazy. Like, I I don't know. Like, I I think what struck me is the fact that he murdered the niggas and then got the tattoo. Yeah. Like, he was the laziest murderer. I don't. Especially uh, after thinking about it, like. I mean, obviously, he had some really bad issues. <coughs> um, the fact that, like you said, his his murders were so sloppy, like sloppy. down the street from his crib, like didn't, down the street, didn't within a really, mile from his home. The last what? thing, yeah, the last thing they can say about any of those murders is that they were premeditated because they clearly were not. Like, there's no way he thought any of this shit through. No, um, not like, and I mean, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. They were all very spontaneous. Mm-mm. Very just, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I see a lot of people. Um, that's what I really wanted to say. I see a lot of people thinking that, the, saying that they think the quarterback was lying. Why? Um, because they said that he just seemed like too excited. First of all, he wasn't even his quarterback. I don't know if we, did we mention that last episode. Mm-mm. He wasn't even his quarterback. It was some other dude who was the quarterback of the team. So the guy. In the documentary, who was saying, "Oh yeah, I was Aaron Hernandez quarterback. We had this this tight end quarterback uh, connection." Da 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 da. Niggas just googled it and they seen that his quarterback's name was like Matt something, not <laughs> not the nigga in the documentary. <laughs> so I don't know. I thought that was a little weird, but um, I don't know, man. Like I don't even hate to see it. I don't know. Do you feel like they forced like the whole? I don't think it was forced just because before the documentary came out. You tell me his story. It's alleged that he had a uh, lover in jail anyway. Yeah, I, I knew so that. Like, I heard about that. It. And it's just like, I didn't really feel like it was forced because what they were trying to implicate in the documentary that I felt, that it was part of the motive. Like maybe Odin found out that he was messing with dudes and Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, they did try yeah, to say so it. that's where that that's where that stuff I feel like they just they like really just tried to drive that shit home. The only thing I didn't like was they got the other Patriots player who was gay on there. Oh yeah. He, he didn't was, need to be there. Yeah. At all. Uh, kinda not really. I mean he was just giving more insight about being in NFL and yeah, being gay at the same time. You're just gay. That's it. Like that's literally the only yeah, thing. It's okay. <laughs> that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> You a motherfucking meat loving, <laughs> tight end, ball catching ass nigga, a ball catching, ball catching <laughs> ass nigga, <laughs> and that's all right. It's fine, but you know um, I mean? yeah, Aaron just really went out of his way to mask that, 
And yeah, two days later, uh, I know we said it before, but like two days after somebody had mentioned that he was gay, nigga killed himself. So, yeah. Gotta make it. Tragic. <laughs> Another thing that was funny. We about gotta make it safer for these dudes, for like the people who are gay or whatever. Bless you. To feel like they want to come out and make that shit comfortable for them too, yeah. man. Yeah, people. You, you should give these niggas safe spaces, bro. Yeah. That shit ain't cool. Yeah, for real. It doesn't matter who that you, you feel are. Like you need to, they don't. That you, you should, feel like you need to kill or be killed mm-hmm. because niggas find out who you are. So that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, here on the Not That Serious podcast, we believe that you should be able to be yourself and nobody should be able to judge you for that. Exactly. You should be able to be comfortable because we're all comfortable around our skin. So you should be able to be comfortable too. A hundred percent. A thousand percent. We don't care who you're fucking as long as you're fucking. Amen. We and don't care who you're fucking as long as you're fucking. As long as it's consensual. And that too. Because who you fuck don't make us come. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who you, what you eat don't make us shit. Mm-hmm. shit. So. Do we have anything else? Oh, uh, Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Damn, I almost uh, forgot. It doesn't matter to me this year because we're not even close. So. I want the Chiefs to win because I want Andy Reid to win a ring. Absolutely. Yeah. That's all. I yeah. I'm I feel the same way. I just feel like it's gonna be very tough because defense wins championships and that 49ers defense is fucking ridiculous. And I also feel like uh I think San Francisco is gonna win because that run game? Yeah, because their run game is harder to stop than the Titans run game is. Yeah. So it's just but like, they, but we saw it is harder. But we also saw the Chiefs do very well against the Titans' run game. At, at first, no. But at the end of the yeah, day, yeah, first no. But at the end of the day, people gotta forget that like the 49ers can beat you with they can beat you in a multitude of ways. Mm-hmm. They can run the ball, yeah. And they, and uh, Kyle Shanahan said that uh, they didn't stop running the ball because they just couldn't stop it. They literally, yeah. They I think Jimmy G too. had like seventy yards. He he only had six completions. Yeah, and, like they literally just. Just kept because it's playoff football, so teams are going to play different. They're not they're not playing to entertain anybody. Now. He has six completions; five of them were the first half. Yeah, so it's just like he completed one pass. Yeah. Half. Uh, I think I think uh, the San Francisco is uh, is going to win. I think Kyle Shanahan is going to make up for the blunder he had versus the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, if they yo, what if they blow it again? If they blow it again, then I, w- I wouldn't be mad because personally, I want to see Andy Reid get one. Yeah. And then just retire. Just mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Walk off in the sunset yeah. with his big ass. Eric take <laughs> Waddle off in the sunset. Um, nah, that would be great, though. I would definitely <laughs> on a horse. <laughs> Back to the team, man. And not only that, but if the Chiefs win, we could finally put Mahomes in like the category with Breeze and A Rod and all that, you know? I don't even think it matters because he's elite anyway. Bro, that dude is disgusting. He's elite. This is only what? His second year in the league? Third. Third? Yeah, second year playing, third year of the league. He good. He solidified to Bro, me. He he's good. Like uh, I, he's elite. I think he's gonna end up being a top ten quarterback, most likely of all time. Yeah, I can see it. Top five. Think top five? Whew, it's gonna be tough. But did you see I, the running touchdown he had? It's just like you yeah. can do that too. Yeah, he does it all. So all you got to <laughs> do is stay healthy, and he is going to be one of the greats. Um, what do but, you feel about what Revis said after the game? I think Revis is a hater. I think. Revis knows football entirely too well to sit there on his on his couch with his fat ass and say that this thirty something year old Richard Sherman needs to be locking up Devontae Adams, who's damn it was all of twenty five, saying that he needs to be in man on man you need to lock this nigga up after Richard Sherman has had Achilles injuries and knee injuries, all these type of injuries. And to say that to me was just plain silly. Now, I did watch First Take, and I watched what Bart Scott had to say about it. Did you see that? And Bart Scott and Max and uh, Stephen A. Um, now, is Steve was was Darrell Revis the better overall corner? Yeah, all three. Absolutely. Because he can stop anybody at any position, any position on any side. It doesn't matter. Richard Sherman doesn't move sides. Right? He's, he's, and he, he was a lockdown corner, but now he's his own corner because he just got older. So, like... I feel like if you respect football, you should know why he's doing what he's doing and how they're doing this to put them in the best position to win. Because if you put Richard Sherman one-on-one with a young, fast nigga and you got him all up in his face, probably going to get burnt. So, At the end of the day, uh, people got to understand that there are different types of quarters in the league. Yeah. Richard Sherman is his own quarter. That's yep. fine. Uh, exactly. When, when he's with the Legion of Boom, they're in the same same. Uh, same, it's the same company three. Yeah. Like at the at the end of the day, 
he doesn't have to appease you by asking his defensive coordinator to play no. man. No. There are different there's different types of corners, just like exactly. there's different types of running backs. Different types, there are different types yeah. of wide receivers. Yep. So it's there's just like different people who are at good. The, at the end of the day, you can you could be a hater and mm-hmm. call him his own corner, but you gotta understand that you still gotta be good for the yeah. for the system to work. Exactly. Like, cause like and I'm and I'm gonna this is a perfect point. You know who else is his own corner and doesn't really work out? Well, Byron Jones. He looks. It's this, and that's why I don't like Chris Rashard mm-hmm. because Chris Rashard came from Seattle. They trying to run the same defense in Dallas. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not, we don't it's have not the same that. personnel. We, we it's not the same personnel. We don't have that talent, mm-hmm. and I, that's why that defense gets chopped up like that. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, it might be a system type of thing. But just because it's a system doesn't mean that you don't got to be good. Because yeah. like you can say Tom Brady's a system quarterback. Yeah, but the you still got to make the he makes the system. Yeah, work. yeah, exactly. You still got to make the system. You work. can't you can't exactly. throw. You're not gonna throw fucking <laughs> Nick Bowles in that system. Exactly. It's just gonna work. Like yeah, exactly. it, there's different systems for different players. Exactly. And, and as a coach, you should always play to your player strengths. Exactly. So it would be stupid for them to say. Oh, Richard Sherman, we want you to uh, follow such and such around and play man to man. Like you're no, not, you're not fucking getting mad. Yeah, you're not getting the bank for your buck. That's like taking a fucking. <laughs> We're not turning. Yeah, it's not mad. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's like, like his, his rating is not going to stay the same. Yeah, it's no like taking where a Corvette, yeah. taking the shit to fucking Alaska but, in the yeah. winter <laughs> with no snow time. Like, well, it's a Corvette. Yeah, well, it's a Corvette. Like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But that's not the fucking scenery for it. <laughs> Not getting the use for it. Yeah, Six feet of snow outside. Yeah, taking a Lamborghini to Dubai. Yeah, in the dunes. Yeah, the dunes. <laughs> for a nigga, what? Fucking goofy. But well, that's yeah. all I got to say on that. Yeah, well, Grievous, were you the better player? But you're also a hater. So yeah, you're up. a hater. You're you're old. Just sit on the couch. Be retired. Shut the fuck up. Like, like, literally, you, you spent your last two seasons hurt anyway. Shut yeah, up. literally. Relax. In Tampa. Shut yeah, up. get the fuck out of here. Like, there's no reason for all that. But you know. You hate to see it. He's clearly just envious. If you if you feel that high and mighty about yourself, nigga, how about you play in the XFL? Literally. <laughs> like, just go ahead and play football, nigga. But, they're always looking for Yeah, because they're always looking for niggas at this point. But I think that's all we have for this evening. I know we didn't want to go over two hours. I think we just hit it. Yeah, we're like at one, 146. 140, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cozy here. I'm saying yeah, it's been a long day. Oh, also wanted to shout out to my sister. She just had her baby. Yeah, I, I got one more shout out to after you. Yeah, um, so my nephew Ace. Shout out to him. It's his birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Star athlete already. A- yeah, Ace Brown. Yeah. <laughs> so. League him. Yeah, league, league him. Trust me, he's going to be running routes by the time he's three months old. <laughs> Um, he will be in intense training for the rest of his life. There's no fun. <laughs> this is going to be like everything Boop. Joe Jackson did to them damn kids. It is not going to be fun. You are going to be a superstar, and I'm going to love it. And that's all that matters. Uh, shout out to my boy Malcolm. He just got promoted to captain. I saw that. So, yeah, shout out to him. That's dope. Uh, the most unprofessional pilot I've ever met. That's actually scary. Yeah, he. this guy doesn't even tell the passengers what city they're in. A lot of you not. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. it's just like very, very unprofessional. How does it, How do you get away with that? He's just Malcolm. He just... He, what do you mean? <laughs> the, like, he just... Like, all right, all right, first all right, of all, so what, 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 what I would do is I would tell him we're going to a completely different place. Nah, all right, so like... What uh, after? Because obviously there's different legs in your day as a pilot. Mm-hmm. You say after the first leg, he don't even tell them where they're at. He just like, all right, all you. right, thanks for flying. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, nigga, I'll get on the plane. Hey, thanks for flying. So there's be, like a famous oh, joke, me. right? Yeah. Uh, it's this thing called a star. Mm-hmm. It's a standard uh, arrival procedure. So the star is what planes use when they're about to land. It's like an arrival procedure, right? Mm-hmm. So this dude was complaining because the star was over his house. He was complaining that uh, it was just too loud. So he was like, so what he was asking is, can you move the star? Uh, and they were like, no. No. So he was like, all right, and this is in Detroit, right? <laughs> yeah. So he went on his roof and said, welcome to Cleveland. Just to fuck with I've passengers. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah I've seen yeah, that. Just, just to fuck with passengers. I've seen that. Yeah, so, because, uh, okay, I get it. Because my planes have to go like. Exactly. So yeah, it's just like, it. okay. and I know that might that sound like, like. over his house. Yeah. <laughs> so it might sound like it's not a big deal. but Yeah. Like, but if you're know, fucking flying, you're like, yo, welcome flying, to Cleveland, bitch. If like, you're flying, the plane yeah. just landed. The last thing the stewardess want to do is answer 30 people. Like, why are we in Cleveland? <laughs> why are we in Cleveland? Exactly. <laughs> so what are we doing in Cleveland? Like, but shout out to him. 
Yeah. That's my dog. But that's it. Mike, any shout outs? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. Um, still working on um, some stand up. Oh, yeah. Working on the jokes. Can we tell the people you just did a little... Uh, go little, ahead, go little, ahead. Mike did a little five minutes for us. He, he did exactly five minutes. He did exactly five minutes. Um, it was good. It was, it I was. think I think once people actually, if you get a chance to see any of the material that he did, you'd be very proud of him. Um, you'd be proud. Because okay. Mike, it was good. It was good. I, I laughed. You yeah, know, we both laughed. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. You, I think you got you got a lot of potential, Mike. Thank you, guys. And um, so, if you know, you, your writing team is right here, so we're gonna make you like Kevin Hart. Um, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be like you have a bunch of niggas in here just. <laughs> If you goes right your jokes. Yeah, and so that was like my first time actually just doing it all. And once I started, I mean, it was, yeah, and that's funny because I was nervous just in front of you guys. And yeah, once you get comfortable, man. Yeah, so, you know. But just, I was, I, I, what I liked about it, you were yourself the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like, I feel like I, w- I would be scared if you was to like try to be something that you're not. Yeah. Oh, no. Like he was about to get up there like, hey, I just flew in from Phoenix and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> How about that airline food? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. How about that yeah. airline food? Yeah, so yeah, I was never about to do nothing like that. But um, I think I think once I like do it over and over, and then like I'm gonna write it out, try to write it out like a script almost. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I think just doing it that first time it felt good. It felt no, you good. can do it. Like it made me feel confident. Yeah, doing it. So you got it, I'm man. just excited. I'm excited. I'm so, excited. You know, I'm excited for you. We will. It's 2020, the year of risk. Fact, yes. So you, yeah, man. The year of yes. I told myself a whole lot of friends are telling me. Do those jokes. Friends are telling me all types, all different types. Everybody. Trade those Forex stocks. Fuck that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. That's, that's, the only thing, that's, really the only thing that's the only thing you shouldn't do this year. Do everything this year stupid. except for Forex. Do we have any Forex listeners? I don't know. They won't. They, are, they won't out themselves. If they won't because they, they, know they, they, they haven't said anything yet. They know they're fucking Yo, stupid. That, that hype has died down. It is. It's dying, man. It's because it's, it's a lost just, art. Yeah. When I see people pictures of niggas with just random DJ charts X6 on does their four phones, when they just point phones with a yeah. chart, and it's just like it's join my chart. squad. Well, this the blue the blue line goes up, the red line goes down. Exactly. When the blue line goes up, that means I can make more money. When exactly. the red line goes down, I can make less money. <laughs> when I have good money days, I get a smiley face. <laughs> and it's crazy because like, and when I have bad money days, I, I get, get a up. stormy cloud. Get <laughs> My favorite thing is when like they screenshot the group chat. Oh god! And they're like, "Yo, man, I made such and such. Man. Oh, I should put more man. money." Like, yeah. I you see the convention they went to in Houston? You see that? <laughs> that was like a cult meeting. Man, that was a Meg the Stallion concert. <laughs> <laughs> like a cult meeting, and it was just a bunch of people, and they was in there yelling and shit. I don't know, man. That shit. Is weird. But I mean, hey, if you're really making free money from that, please walk, walk pro- prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. I really do hope you wish you prove me wrong because that just means you're making money, and I'm not gonna do it. But hey, prove me wrong. Like, Floyd Mayweather just hired somebody to trade for X for him. <laughs> Waka Flock is doing it. He made no hands. He made hard in the paint. He knows everything about stocks. Yeah, literally. It's like with Kanye. Yeah, that's why he's doing. That's, why he's doing. that's like with Kanye. was like, I love Gaga. What the fuck does she know about cameras? <laughs> I, I love, love Gaga. I love, I, I love Gaga. Gaga songs. You know two Gaga. <laughs> what the fuck does she know about cameras? I know some of the Gaga songs. <laughs> Gaga. <laughs> Man. Oh if Kanye, if the Kanye meter could have got right there and stopped, then fine. That was like prime. Like that was the highest. That was the highest craziness that I would support. Mm. He he passed it. He passed it. Damn. I miss my uncle Charles now. What could have right, been? Well, uh, yeah, but anyway, do we have it? Oh, no, that's it. That's what it. episode is that? Is that is, what is this? Ninety five. Ninety five. Ninety five. Ninety five. See, uh, yeah, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Episode ninety five of the greatest motherfucking podcast in the history of yes, podcasting. Sir. Um, you can visit our website www.ntspodcast.com. Mm-hmm. Right now, when you go on there, you can find merchandise. Um, you can see the links to our various uh, social media pages. You can even donate at the bottom. Right. Um, there's also a link. For the merchandise, you can go on there. You can buy some NTS merch. We will have some new merch dropping 
soon since it is the new year i feel like we kind of owe that to y'all mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um you can follow us on instagram at not that serious podcast uh twitter nts podcast um if you don't know where to find us by now then you're just you're just not doing the right things yeah twitter yeah. instagram twitter instagram at it Twitter at NTS Pod, Instagram at Not That Series Pod. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, iTunes, Spotify, all this, all, anywhere you get podcasts, yeah. you're going to find us. Except there. SoundCloud because we're not paying for that shit. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck SoundCloud uh, and your advertisements. Yeah, all that. Um, so make sure, you know, leave us a review, five stars, you know, nothing oh, yeah, less yeah. than that. Yep. Um, shout out to all the, um, shout out to all the Jersey podcasts doing their thing. Yeah. Um, what's, what's a couple? Goddamn! Uh, I we know are, uh, we are that uh, we are that pod. Them, yeah, yep. Shout out to Kristen and all, all, all them dead over there. Yeah, all them, all them thick Johns over there. Shout yeah. out to y'all. <laughs> 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 shout out to them. Oh, oh shout we didn't even talk about the uh, the KU Kansas fight. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> you know that's that's what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, was that Basically, Spice Adams that almost got hit by that chair? No, nah, it wasn't really. It was, I think it was yeah, it funny. looked like somebody said it was Spice Adams and that's on the back of his head. Yeah, it just that looked like, like that. Yeah, it did like that. <laughs> oh, um, okay. The only thing I really wanted to say about that is that when white commentators see um, black young A men fight, fighting, yeah. it's always the worst thing that they've ever seen. <laughs> Um, this is this is this the, is uh, this is bad. This is horrible. This is just not what you want in collegiate sports. Blah 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 blah. blah. But let the benches clear in fucking baseball. Let some niggas fight in hockey, hockey, and it's all funny. He shouldn't have been talking shit. He Ron. Yeah, he just shouldn't have been running it. He, he's been bumping his gum since he got here. <laughs> it's the third inning. He's bumping his gum. He's, he's been bumping he his gum. Dirt at him, Ron. Did you see <laughs> Did that? You see that? Did you see when he slid into him? I wish, I wish, I wish a motherfucker would, Ron. <laughs> I wish a motherfucker <laughs> would try <laughs> that shit, try Ron. Try that shit with me. But yeah, when black athletes fight, it is just and it's just and just the worst shit you could ever imagine. It's horrible. Um, niggas play a physical sport, and God forbid that uh, you know sometimes they just want to put hands on each other. <laughs> It's, it's, Whose fault is that? It's just unheard of. What, what you mean? Of like why the brawl happened? It's that fucking Kansas. The pro. Oh, it, it was Kansas State. 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 Yeah, State. Yeah, yeah, the nigga stole the ball. Yeah, why would you the nigga right, stole man, the ball in he, garbage time. That's how all he, them fights start. They were dribbling. Mad, you, you Can, first of all, Kansas was dribbling the clock out because the game was over. They were being sportsmen. They, they like were about being sportsmen. Like <laughs> nigga from Kansas State said, "Nah, fuck that. I'm playing. I'm a senior." I'm a fifth year senior. I'm a I'm a fucking bio major. I gotta make some, a name for myself, right? So he still so he steals the ball and he goes up for a layup and boy does a nigga from Kansas slap slap the fuck out of that. Because you know stands. what that is? That's like you doing a nigga a favor. Oh yeah. And then somebody then, then that person then showing you that showing you their ass. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I was being we're blowing you out by fifty. Yeah. yeah. And I'm dribbling out the clock. I'm being nice. Yeah, that's the equivalent to what I thought was like. If like a QB's kneeling, like trying to run down the clock, mm. but then you got that one defensive tackle that yeah, like, just pushes through yeah, the whole line, pushes through like yeah. bro, like I'm trying, We're kneeling. To, I'm kneeling, the game's I'm, over, I'm done running the clock There's out. There's nothing you can There's do. There's yeah. nothing more you can do. There's nothing you, you can do make any to change plays. the outcome of this game. Yeah. Bitch. So the nigga swats it right and just punches the fuck out of it. And him. now you clock <laughs> expires. So since he did that, the dude that blocked it just stared him down, just standing <laughs> over him like nigga. Let's see what happens for you being yeah, a dickhead. You wouldn't be here if you wasn't fucking wilding, right? So, <laughs> so the nigga gets up. This is why started, you can see my nuts through the yeah, opening of my shirt. So the nigga drops up. He fucking dude, gets gets his nuts out my face, and then they just fucking start brawling. Somebody picked up a Yo, chair. Yo, man, who man who got the chair? Yeah, he never even. He's threw already it. suspended. But that's how you know he got suspended eighteen games. But he didn't even throw it. He, he didn't, didn't even throw it. it up. No, but that's he how didn't you throw it because the coach came and yeah. took it from him. That's how you know him. niggas can't. No, nah, I saw him put it down himself. He put it down. I, oh, I was. He put it down himself. He put it down. The assistant grabbed it. Ah. Down. that's if, how you know niggas. If he can't put fight. it that way. If he put it down, then I don't think he should be. Yeah, it was like he picked it up. It was like, uh, and then like, uh, yeah. All right. If he did that, then like, I don't. Niggas like, I'm mad. And that was about it. But I, I don't know. He did like a half on man. He was like, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. Like, I don't know, but he he got suspended 18 games. He shouldn't have picked up a chair. Like, but obviously, you just knew that nigga could not fight. Like, I feel like a majority of basketball players can't fight. 
These niggas just yeah, they're too big, busy playing basketball. Just big and soft. <laughs> like these niggas just don't box. Like, and the ones that can fight are the worst ones. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're 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 sick because they're five fouls. If, you're, if we're talking college, NBA is six. So you're literally just you know who beat the, you know who snuffed the shit yeah. out of Kobe Bryant. Who was it again? Exactly. <laughs> I actually don't know who gave that nigga a two piece and a biscuit. Do you know who was King Child? Yeah. Who? Chris Childs? Yeah. Is he making any NBA top 20 lists? Shit. Top 20 (laughs) fighters. Top 20 20 ball brawlers. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, real quick. I know we're about to end, but like. It's our podcast. That that made me think about the mouse in the palace. How old were we when that happened? Oh, mouse in the palace. Because. Yeah, it just passed. That Uh, shit was. What was that? Like 2004? That was around the time that the Pistons won the championship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like Literally, it was 2004. Like, I remember seeing that shit on ESPN and just being in disbelief. Like, oh, shit. And, like, every day they showed it, there was something different that happened. <laughs> like, bro, you just, like, like, every, you just watch a different person. Like, bro, they bro. were beating the fuck out of the little white dudes, bro. Like, they were beating. Ron Artest would oh, have been standing and starting while lacking some ass. <laughs> I was like, yo. No, they were throwing beers. They were. Oh, yeah, no, he did that. I did, I'm not oh, falling no. for it. Everybody in the stands who got hit deserved it. Yeah. One nigga walked onto the court. Steven Jackson had to lay that nigga out. Yeah. He <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> you doing out here? Yeah. It's just yo, crazy to see where it started. It, it, it escalated. Spills. Oh, man. It just escalated. Yeah. It was bad. That's the one fight that I'll give the commentators. Like that fight was actually the they were like, oh, God. yeah, they were they were actually like they were watching a murder. They were like, oh God, I can't stop looking, but it's so crazy. Like, the fact that Ron Artest and Steven Jackson even got to play. Oh, they were in the league for a an little NBA bit after game after that is fucking astounding. <laughs> the niggas were punching niggas in the I face. imagine punching niggas in the mouth. In the state, like they went up, they went up, but then they came back down. I'm telling you, they're gonna go on the court and just got cleaned. <laughs> yeah, you're like, fucking knocked in the fuck out. And then they just fucking <laughs> cleaned the floor with them. It was bad. Oh my god, yeah, that was that was good. I, I wish I could have been there. That's the place I would want to be. <laughs> Nothing's ever gonna touch that, but no, there's another one. Was it George? Some Georgetown was fighting Chinese, some Chinese kids. Oh. <laughs> You never saw what? that one, Georgetown? What? Yes, it was Georgetown, and they were fighting like a Chinese team. Oh, I don't know. And I remember just the screenshot of this Chinese boy stopping the shit <laughs> out of this Georgetown kid. He was like, he got, <laughs> he is fucking stomping the fuck. Like, not even on no, I can make a Chinese karate joke. Stop, no. Oh, that nigga is cool stomping oh. like on some hood shit. Like, on some, like, oh, like, God. like on some MOP shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. with that American History X curb stomp. Yeah, with his nigga. teeth on the curb. With his teeth on the curb. Yeah. Just crunch. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, free dental work, bitch. Crack. Oh, man. Your first yo. extraction's on us. I forgot about this. Hold up. How does this even happen? Yeah. Oh, loose ball, and they started jumping on each other. Hey, I just remember, yo, he was stomping the fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, he took, yo, he took, yeah, I forgot about this. And they were in China. Fucking took off on him. Yes. They were this fighting. is about to be the cover of the pod. They were fighting for it. Did you see this? <laughs> they were fighting for it. You see this picture? <laughs> yo. They were fighting for it, man. Crack, <laughs> man. Fucking shellac this nigga. Look at this, look at this. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that's good stuff. <laughs> He's out of the shadow with them Air Force. <laughs> oh man! All right, y'all. I'm sorry. That's been the podcast. <laughs> oh man! Uh, make sure you stop and get out with some white Air Force. Yeah, thanks. Uh, do that. We will see y'all next week. Yes, uh, we will. Love y'all. Same time, same place. Yes. Peace. Oh.